Hello everyone and welcome to D&D with Chrissiosity. We are back again to game with our friends and continue on with our adventures and saga. And at this point, this is where I hand it over to Micro, who will recap what happened in the last episode. Attempt. Attempt to recap. That's... Um, last time, our little crew, having cleared out the... Um, I mean, cleared out the sewers. Uh, we went back and uh, slept a bit, um, and then we met um, we met some some new people who were very interested in joining uh, the circus. Um, and we were introduced to them, and um, Eldon had a strange visit visit from a guy who wants him to spy on. Um, <laughs> Spy on people, so that's great. Um, we've also met um, uh, Mabel's aunt. Uh, Excuse me, I'm Marble, not Mabel. I said Marble. No, you said Mabel. Oh, I was trying. I was deliberately trying to avoid saying that, and then I, I guess I said it anyways. Great job. The cat. The cat. I don't need to remember your name. You're the cat. The cat. cat met the cat's me. out of the bag now. Yeah. <laughs> the cat. The cat met. We met the cat's cat. Uh, cat aunt. There. Um. And uh, then we decided to take up having after like seeing what they could do and figuring out what they might help us with. We um. We we went and did the other job. Um involving um a grand a grandpa that had been turned into stone it turned out there were big um uh, snake chickens that had done that uh so we fought them and some tr living trees and then we might have been we we might have sort of stumbled upon something in there might have been a soldier who has done things he shouldn't do, um, based on some evidence we found in the um, snake chicken's uh, nest. And uh, I think when we left off, we were going to go talk to the family of uh, the girl who uh, had been, whose diary we found, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think so. Um, now, so it was Wolks, Eldon, the ringleader. Who else was going? I think Zill no, was, I was staying. No, I wasn't going. I was you weren't going. Camp. Okay. So who, uh, how about that? Who is staying at the camp and who is going? Vianney was tagging along, but just I to was watch. staying with my aunt. Yeah. So I think it's Vianney. Yeah, Vianney, Tara, Meriti, and Eldon are going. Okay. And Everyone else is staying. Okay. All right. Well, you uh, find your way to the Nerval House, uh, the home of the adoptive parents of Morning Nerval. Uh, and I believe you were just getting there as we, if I remember right, you were just getting there as we uh, set off. So. You knock on the door and a rather short, uh, not short enough to be a gnome, she looks, or a halfling, she looks human, but she looks just barely like she could hang out with a bunch of halflings and, and no one would know. And she says, hello, I'm Mrs. Nerval. Can I help you? Hi. Uh, oh, sorry, Elder, were you speaking? I mean, you know, I am the better looking one, so I figured I should take lead. But, you know, you you were, you were had it. I'm sorry, I didn't I mean to interrupt. Go ahead, Temerity. I just kind of give him a good she's old... She's just looking at you like she's about to close the door now. Okay. Um... I don't All need right, so, any. I know you don't. I'm sorry, 
my I'm, I'm trying my friend here we're like i'm trying to get him to like be a little bit more open we're part of a circus and he's just a little shy it's it's a long story i, I figured i'd let him practice but because we're part of the circus we kind of did a, a job um and we found this a journal that i think belonged to your daughter me sister don't know um and i kind of hand over the journal she takes it and clearly recognizes it and she starts to leaf through. She says, where did you get this? Uh, we found it in a nest of uh, cockatrices um, and maple trees. Uh, and they, um, it seems to, the cockatrices have turned a whole lot of people into stone and in the pile of rubble with uh, some other junk was this. Oh no, do you think she, she was turned to stone? Temerity, did we see anyone turn to stone besides the old man? The old man. Next Temerity. time you're done, I'm handling this. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry to inform you, but your daughter is dead. Oh, oh my God, did you? You're sure? I mean, you, 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 she couldn't have just dropped this. I mean, did you see her? This was recovered from the body of your daughter. What about what was left of it? Temerity, no, it wasn't. But okay. It wasn't. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> See, this is why I was asking you. No, it wasn't Temerity. <laughs> oh, shut up. Um, I'm I... also going to make sure she gets the um, dog tags. Uh, uh, th these were with These them? were with the journal. Do they mean anything? Name, recognize the name? <laughs> she looks at them and she says, Yes, um, yes, it was a, a friend of hers. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I appreciate you bringing them home to us, but I... Um, thank you for bringing them. Um, I, I have to go talk to my husband, if you don't mind. Oh, of course, we understand you. You, This is quite the ordeal that your family is going through. Thank you. Uh, we Thank want to hope to give you some closure. Um, um, have a good rest of your evening, and if you need anything, um, please let I, us know. If you can tell me exactly where the where this was so we can you know, see, uh, retrieve her body. Um, yeah, um, certainly it is quite a dangerous area. Um, if you would like, we probably have enough time that we can bring the body. There was maple trees just everywhere attacking people and cockatrices. Right. Guys, you can roll, uh, intelligence. I don't remember what <laughs> We obviously don't. Set eight. No, nine, pull nine, look at me. All right, that's enough to at least know that you didn't see a body. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no. Um, I, mm, yes, so no, there was no body. Sorry, my friend got confused. Um, and, um, but we found um, a lot of belongings, um, the dog tags, um, just junk really. Um, um, cockatrices, can I do a nature check about cockatrices and if they're, they like to just. Yeah, go ahead. Keep things. I'm mostly thinking like, do they just. Arcana are they or like nature could be. I'm terrible at this. Five. Yeah, no, I don't know. So I'm just going to guess at it. Um, I believe cockatrices are pretty uh, big on just hoarding shiny objects. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if they found it somewhere, maybe brought it over. Um, well, uh, definitely I'll, I'll give her like the directions on how to get there and all that jazz. Um, it is I, I, very I dangerous. I know some people that I, I, I know some people who will, will go with, uh, some people I know. Thank you. Yes. I, um, it is quite dangerous. So just be careful. We will. Thank you. Um. But goodbye. Uh, good luck. And she closes the door. 
Temerity, why'd you tell her we had a body? I thought we did. You were there, don't you remember? Apparently not. Well, it's okay. We'll get better at this. We'll rehearse next time. I know you're not a performer, you're the sandwich guy, but we'll, we'll do some like rehearsals beforehand. Maybe get you a costume. Timothy's just gonna hold his tongue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, does anybody else wanna throw in on that? <laughs> Okay, so is there anything you're going to be doing here before heading back? Mm, I have nothing to do. Temerity, Vianney, do you have things you need to do in town before we head back? No, she don't. Okay. Vianney, you've been awful quiet this whole time. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, okay. I, 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 I thought that was a nice moment between the two of you. And... Yeah, glad I kind of came along, but no, I don't have anything to go in town. I was just bored. Okay, cool, good. Could have uh, could have used some of your famous look there when I was trying to remember what happened. But... Well, uh, okay, okay. Next time, I'll give I'll, I'll I'll inspire you before we give one of these talks. Yeah. All right, we'll work I mean, as a that's team. That's what I was telling Temerity. Like, we gotta we gotta rehearse. Yeah. Maybe get inspired first. That'd be uh, good. Teamwork, right? Teamwork, Family. like, yeah. Maybe okay. you'll sit and like analyze the situation, guide myself to a better outcome next time. That'd I'll give you some inspiring, you know, like yeah. encouraging words so that if you, you know, comes on the line, you can draw on that. Yeah. Yeah. Might have to, might have to work on our, on our teamwork there. And, and our, yeah, we seem pretty good. Well, yeah, on the whole planning. We fumbled our way through it. We got lucky. Yes, it's, yes. No yeah, harm done this time. Let's head back. Yeah, let's head back. I'm still better looking. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So meanwhile, back at the ranch, back at the big top, um, what are you doing ringleader? Um, the, the ringleader, assuming this is the same around, approximate amount of time, the ringleader actually got pretty hurt throughout the most of that fight and and like burnt through a lot of um, a lot of the stuff, so I'm thinking that the ringleader is going to kind of be helping with the pack up, helping with making sure that everything's okay. Um, and the ringleader will help by doing this by becoming um, a reasonably good catapult, so as to put things on the wagon. Do not ask me how that works, but it doesn't. It, it just doesn't. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, why don't you roll a strength? All right. Um, Told you after, it didn't. <laughs> after uh, some, some really poor misadventures with uh, trying to catapult things mm -hmm. onto the wagon, the work some of the workers kind of like could you would you mind um just doing lookout we we could use a lookout <laughs> um a uh ring ringleader's gonna have like a look on their quote-unquote face um mm -hmm. that is you know approximates you know excitement and everything and then there's a very long, almost minute long silence as they pretty much freeze in place, like completely immovable. And then they go, yes. And they just turn around and then, they, yeah, they're going to do some lookout. Um, but then probably within like a good 10 minutes of just sitting there, kind of like being a bit of a lookout with multiple eyes that have grown as pseudopods and stuff like that. Um, the ringleader is going to succumb to falling asleep and will fall asleep in their hat like they did yesterday. Well, um, while you're looking out, why don't you give me a perception check? Aye. Thirteen. Okay. Um, 
you see, as you're looking out, a sphinx. Ah, do I know this sphinx? And you do, you do. This mm. is the founder of the circus. This is Sarah Kiel. Mm. And uh, she is simply coming over to you. She doesn't visit very often. Mm -hmm. But uh, she comes and walks um, over to you. Okay. I'm going to um, be reasonably agitated because I just got told off by my own workers. So I will assume the largest size I can, which approximates pretty much a balloon. Hmm. Um, yeah, you can't tell if it's impressive or what to her. Her face is always very impassive. No, it's impressive. She's just pretending otherwise. I'm sure. I'm sure. But she comes over to you and sits down and sort of... Mm. Hello, ringleader. Hello, Sarakiel. How are you? Would you like some tea? I would not. I am well. Okay. I understand you're leaving soon. We're leaving tomorrow. First light. I helped. And everybody was nice. Yes. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. You've done very well, Ray Leader. I'm very proud of how what I've done. Hmm. You I, should be. I tried to catapult things, though, and that didn't work out, but I'm working on it. Why do you want to catapult things? I think it would be faster if it was flying through the air. Perhaps. Do you but think it'll it... be faster if it was flying through the air? When I fly through the air, I am faster. <sighs> then what? Then what I am not. Oh. Ringleader is going to have a look on their face of absolute perplexion and kind of like mind blown kind of look, you know. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, is still going to be watching intently at the Sphinx, you know, just like whatever. Um, <laughs> if anyone were watching, probably they would kind of get the impression that the ringleader was nervous in some way. It's like mm -hmm. little things that they do in order to make people feel a bit more comfortable around them is by br by changing their shape slightly making it look like they're breathing and the ringleader is literally just stock still you know <laughs> yeah yep so whoever's there um zill walks marble has been there i think long enough that you would have at least seen her once or twice i don't know that zill would have ever seen her before she does not come by very often. Mm. And when she does, she's rather aloof. So I don't, um, if any of you see them, you can go up and say hello. I'm busy packing. Mm. Mm. All right. I'm assisting my aunt, but if I saw her, I would say a quick hi while running to do whatever errands my aunt wanted me to do. She nods at you and says, hello, Marble. Uh, she turns back to you, uh, ringleader, and she says, the desert is a very dangerous place. We have made, we've made sure that everything will be okay. I'm glad to hear that. Are you going to come with me? I will not. Uh, I don't think you would have, there's any reason for you to know much about sphinxes, so I'm just gonna, I don't even think there's anything for you to. Mm. I, I, I get the, imp uh, like, I get the impression from Ringleader that probably Ringleader thinks that uh, Sarakiel is pretty much the epitome of what a sphinx is, so mm -hmm. everything that Sarakiel has ever done in Ringleader's presence. That's like, that's what a Sphinx is. 
Mm -hmm. She says, um, so she doesn't say anything about that. Mm -hmm. She says, I think it takes great courage. When you reach the other end of the desert, there will be friends of mine to greet you. Are they like you? They are not. They are not sphinxes. Who are they there then? Will... They are ambassadors. What do ambassadors do? They greet people who are new to the world that you are going to. Oh. One is a great warrior. He is rigid, but he likes to follow the laws, and he will help you learn what the laws are. Will he help us make money? He will not. He is not a performer. He's a man of the law. Okay. It, it was very nice meeting you. Thank you, Sir Rockiel. You're very nice. And don't scare me at all. And, I'm glad uh, to hear it. And she simply takes off and just flies away. Um, so... You know, people who have been probably watching this altercation will see the um, will, will, will see the ringleader start to shrink and shrink until the hat touches the floor and <laughs> does not move, like just is there. And you're, you know, it's kind of like, is it dead? What? And you know, just like that's ju that's just where it's going to be for the rest of this scene. So, anybody else who is back at the uh, Big Top, the circus, Wolks, well, you were just helping. I, I see no reason to make you... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just it. helping, pagging, making sure we have the things to cross the desert, um, mm -hmm. rechecking water supplies, um, ensuring that the wheel, wheels on the wagons are will be able, hopefully be able to handle going through desert um <laughs> through sand um what you are told if you ask um, about it is they have almost like skiffs that they are planning to put under the wheels for the uh, due near areas mm. um they've okay. sort of figured that part out because otherwise your wagons would not be able to make them just as they are those those wheels would never mm. they would just get dug in yeah so it, they they have figured out a workaround they have um when you get to the desert um per se you will be meeting up with a uh, a guide whom they've hired. You'll have some um, camels and some other beasts of burden to do some pulling and dragging. Um, and that's the guide you is there mostly because he's taken caravans through before. So he has some knowledge of where is the best way to go for a large group, which is not something that you would have ever, like guiding a large group through the desert. Is yeah, not, not, not a group done. of this size. And yeah. you don't really guide it. Like when you live there, it's, it's a little different. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm just helping packing, making sure um, and talking to them. Okay. Uh, Marble, you were helping your aunt. She's just packing up and talking yeah. to you. <laughs> and I would be slowly bringing my stuff into her cart. Yeah. Just chatting away about the circus and my time there so far. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. She seems very uh, just pleasant, a little distracted. She's, you know, trying to make sure everything is properly labeled and put in different places. And she tells you, I've never been to the desert before. The goblins told me about it, but I've never gone, of course. It's a little dry there for my tastes. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, Marvel, Marvel to that would say, I'm having a hard time remembering, but I think our family circus went through the desert once. I don't quite remember. So long ago. She looks at you very oddly. Um, no, I don't remember you ever going through the desert. But, um, yes, I guess you did travel a lot. Um, and let's see. Zill, what are you doing? Well, if it's any light outside, I'm sitting underneath the um, overhang of my cart in the shade and spending the time kind of just glowering at other people. I've already put up all my things and I'm ready to leave. <laughs> what is your cart like? It's a simple, uh, small cart, just enough room really for Zeal to go into uh, and bring one or two other people inside as well. Um, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe carts. I'm not a cart smith. I'm not uh, Erasmus yep, from the last fine. campaign. <laughs> but um, it is a, a single horse drawn cart, um, very small. Um, and uh, again, just enough room for that. Uh, everything kind of folds out of in place as he's designed it that way so that he has the minimum amount of time to put these things uh, together. He can simply flip a switch, not a switch, a switch, but flip the board over and everything kind of just pops out. Um, it's dressed decadently, purples, reds, giant banners all over the sides of it, advertising his... Uh, mystical power but beyond that it's it's very simple all right so yeah um do you notice the sphinx do you think yes i probably am looking at it and confused why there's a sphinx <laughs> <laughs> you probably would know you i doubt that you've ever seen her but you know that she is somehow affiliated or associated with the circus itself right i would definitely not want the sphinx to see me mm. so i would sit i like i said skulking in the shadow of my cart okay. it's too bright up here it's far mm. too bright indeed uh why don't you roll Arcana. Okay. I'll roll Arcana. Admit I'm not well learned in Arcana. Um, but, you know, a 17. You know a few things about Sphinxes, though. They show up in stories. Um, you know that they are uh, often associated with the arts. You know that... Um, they are, they live for many thousands of years. And so their attitude is usually, I will set you up with a job mortal. You figure out how you're going to do it. Prove your worthiness to me. And it, so it's, it's well in keeping that she would be just sending you guys off on your own to cross the desert Hmm. Well, but there, there's a certain once you have proven your worthiness, uh, sphinxes are are fairly generous. They're just not; they don't see things the way that humans do, right? Or, or even the way that elves do. Well, I don't see things hell other elves do either. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, but they would they other than showing up in stories, it's not like they're common in the underdark, though. I don't know that I've ever I've ever known of a sphinx in the underdark. Hmm. Okay. So by this time, I would say that uh, the other group has probably had the opportunity to get back. Mm -hmm. Does so. the other group do anything when they get back? I think Vianne have... would finish up uh, packing. She'd wave to Marble's aunt, who she dropped that stuff off and gave her greetings to her friend and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, kind of get ready, you know, stretch a little bit, maybe, you know, if when she's done and then look to help other park uh, circus employees so everyone can get done sooner. Do either of you report to anybody? Any of you report to anybody about how your visit went or just? I I think I sort of assume we talk about it at dinner because we kind of been eating meals together now and. I would see them next all together. I, mean, I don't know where they might be around the camp, though. Okay. All right. So we can just pass it along to um, to meal time, uh, unless anybody else has something else uh, that they need to um, feel the need to do to Meredy or anything. Oh, she's just going to finish loading his cart. So after a little bit, it turns into um, the next meal time. And so you get to all kind of uh, come around, do the meals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what's on the menu? Uh, today is pretty sparse. This is... Um, you know, there is some bread, there's some cheese, there's some meat, a lot of it dried. This is, we've packed everything up, including our cooking stuff. So we're going to go with what we have here. Cleaning up the cupboards. Okay. Yeah. So, but it's still perfectly good. Yeah, uh, okay. Tasty stuff. You guys are all sort of clustered around the table together. Though um, you notice that Eldon is late, as he often is to dinner. And I have my metal lunchbox. <laughs> oh, you're back. Hello. <laughs> but once you get there, yes. What? How many of you have ever been in the desert? Once. Well, I believe I have. Since we'll be traveling, traveling through it, I figured I figured you might want some pointers on what to do. Desert is a dangerous place, especially for soft skins. The main um, the main danger is gonna be running out of water. It's hot in the day, and you and you soft skin sweat. I suggest we travel at night when it's cold. Do you not, also... Do you like not need water? I do. Oh, okay, I so it's also a problem for you, not just the soft skins. I'm used. I'm used to being in the desert, and I oh, I don't it's for sweat. Soft skin and scaly skin. Yeah, soft skin and scaly skin need, need water. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, travel. I feel like well, can I? I know this is going to seem weird. Can I? Can I touch your arm? It's for an experiment. Ow! Bianni leans in closer. Why? I, I, just, I, I just I want to see what your skin feels like. Marble's going to be suppressing laughter. Like I am. No, now. I'm. Tr I'm trying to warn you. I know, but I want to, I want to, like, this is important. Like, your anatomy obviously More gives you advantage than surviving in the, the journey we're about to go on. 
right? Like your 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 anatomy gives you advantage in the desert, correct? Well, just go with it for right now. <sighs> Trust me, it'll be a lot easier if you just. I stick on my arm. All right, I touch his scaly arm. Is it soft? No. You you don't have soft skin. And I'm asking the DL. Oh, I guess you. I guess micro. But it it's hard. It, it's based on a Gila monster, so it's um, osteoderms. There's little pieces of bone embedded in, in the skin. Damn. Okay. Damn. You do have some very hard skin. I can, I can see how you that'll help you survive. I you feel pull my arm, I, I pull my arm back. back. <laughs> As I said, the main danger is going to be running out of water and there will be few few places to get water especially for for the amount of people we are going to be traveling at night will expose us to predators however and at this time of, there's no at this time of year there won't be any sand there's sandstorms are unlikely but we could run into flash floods be on the lookout and if you hear drums, let me know. That means lizard people are around. If we encounter any orcs, you let me do the talking. Will there be anyone who we can perform for on the way? No. Are you happy to be going to see the desert? I'm never happy or sad. Um, the ringleader is going to kind of like uh, assume a face that uh, closely approximates the boy you're bullshitting me look, but um, will quickly just reassume the normal placid look on their face. <laughs> But there you go. That's it. I'm walking goes back to eating. So make sure every water skin is filled and um uh, brush it. Yes. Serakiel came to visit us today. He's very nice. And she doesn't scare me at all. And also, she said that there'll be ambassadors to see us when we get to the other side. They'll be able to help us and get used to everything while we're there. We have to be very nice to them. Unless they try to kill us, in which case it's okay to kill them. Sounds fair. I hope so. Look Lucky, you are, um, you know these, you, you probably don't know the specific people, but you know, you know Ravnikans. You mm -hmm. are a Ravnikan, so you know that, yeah, that, you probably couldn't get very far without somebody greasing the wheels, so it makes sense to you. Yeah, she'll confirm that then to the group. Well, then I guess we all need to make sure that we have our, our water skins and everything else that we have can carry water, especially for the animals. Might want to spend a little extra time tonight making sure we've topped it up completely. Some of the animals are traveling by boat. There's okay. kind of a splitting off because... Uh, uh, you're not bringing any children, any old people. So yeah. you guys are really, you're people without a family mm -hmm. connection in terms of like having kids or grandparents mm -hmm. or other generations um, around you. So you can make this trek. Right. Um, anybody who has somebody who's thought of as delicate is going to sort of go a different way and meet you but unfortunately because of the apparatus of the uh, circus itself it's not something you can just 
take a boat to you know you have to you have to have a way to drag pull or otherwise you know get wagons and and you know machinery and all that sort of rigging and all that stuff and so that's why you're taking a caravan right right because we don't want to have to dig um like a ton of things out of the sand so yes right um i guess this is going a bit ahead but um mm -hmm. i'm just gonna i'd just like to rearrange a couple of my um spells you know for uh what's his name for the stuff tomorrow so i'll sure. i'll prep them and then i'll write them up for you all right um yeah so i think we can kind of cut unless there's something anybody wants to do i think we can kind of cut ahead to uh getting to the desert yeah, yeah let's uh, do that i will try to pack as much water not just into my cart but just like small like as many small little things of water as i as i can manage not into my cart they're gonna sit outside of my cart until tomorrow morning okay yeah how many can i get uh roll a d six d six i got me one of those six look at that you can get six six of them got it perfect six jugs yeah. um you will all need a gallon of water a day, except for Wolks and maybe Temerity can get without it. <laughs> um, but otherwise, that's just sort of what you basically need to survive in the desert, because uh, it is very hot. Uh, Question, is that for medium creatures? Yeah, you'd probably need a little bit less. But not much. But not much yeah, less, yeah. That's you reasonable. probably make three quarters of a gallon, whatever that is. I don't yeah. even know. <laughs> that, that, that sounds entirely reasonable. Um, but yeah, Wolks is, does a little better. I'm. I would think that Zill, if anything, might need a little more, and probably the ringleader might need a little more, just oh, yeah, because the, of the goop. <laughs> it's not goop. It's, yes. it's slime. There's a difference. It's kind of, it's kind of goop. How <laughs> oh, very scientific. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, goop or slime or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it, I, I get the sense that that is usually a little bit more water based. Than otherwise so you'd probably need a little bit more all right anyway i'm perfectly happy being you know in desperate need of a drink of water that's just my <laughs> life as usual so uh should you do something or should something happen that you need to like exert yourself that's gonna go up so if you had to like make a run for it somewhere or fight a battle or what have you yeah unfortunately that is just the way it is so um i think we can skip forward you're not quite let's see where is uh where a, a are... technical question how sure. how closely should we be tracking our water for like should we make some sort of notes here about how much water we have is it going to be important later yeah you should probably what i figured is everybody is going to um you would have packed enough for a week anyway that's a lot that's like you know however many gallons by however many people so you're a big group that's a lot to sort of cart around with everything else. Um, but beyond that, if if somebody like Eldon Wolks went and got another couple of like barrels. tanks, barrels full of water, and so that's going to extend it uh, for you by another. So if anybody else wants to like, yes, anybody else, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. What do I need to roll? 
Uh, roll a d6. Yeah. Three. You're able to find like three good sized jugs to put some water in. Excellent. How much? How much is a jug a gallon? Is we going with that? It's about yeah. It's about a gallon. Two beads. So, anybody else looking for ju- <laughs> looking for jugs? That, well, that sounds terrible. Barrels. So empty barrels. I'll find some jugs. He was half that he could fill up. Um, roll a d four. Me. Oh, uh, temerity, and then we'll do marble. You've got four barrels that you can, um, apparently you were just saving up some barrels, not refilling them with your usual stuff so that you'd have them for the water. Um, and marble, what were you asking? I was saying I was going to look for stuff to put water into. Okay. Sure, go ahead. Well, you're, um, between you and your, uh, your auntie, I'm going to say you can easily find six things. Okay. Because that's what she does. She has a bunch of those things around, so. Don't forget to track them. Okay. Yep. Anybody else? <laughs> I think it's yeah. Still... Sorry. Okay. The yep. One thing, and this is technically a uh, an Ujma flip, like a technical question. All right. I got this spell here. I'm just going to post it on the chat. Mm-hmm. Good brie. Um, eat it. Uh, eat it. You get a hit point. Doesn't ultimately matter. You get nourishment for one day. Mm-hmm. Does that include hydration? It generally would. But in your case, uh, because of the needs of, of it being so much more in the desert, the hydration, it's not quite enough mm-hmm. for you to make a whole day out of it. You could probably take two di- good berries. You'd be all right. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Or would so- taking a good berry reduce the amount of water you need for that day? Yes, it would. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. How sure. how many uh, how many people are in the group? Um, like how like there's obviously us. Mm-hmm. Um, but like how how many like wagons and people are we actually uh, tracking across the desert? All right. Um, you have all of your newfound friends. So that is, I think. 10 another 10 people um there's uh, roll somebody roll me a d a d10 oh. <laughs> all the d10s all the d10s all right i'll go with the first one which is seven um so calio and uh seven different workers Plus, there are um, there's the guide, but the guide is probably going to take care of himself. And there is um, the animals, of course. Camels do pretty well, and most of them are most of the animals you're taking are camels. But there are also some mules, so you know, like you have to have some water for them too. All right. All right. So you reach the Bonewind Dunes a few days later. Um, these are, as you would think, once you stand there and look out in front of you, it's just a sea of, of sand. It's bright, hot sun, not a cloud in the sky. The air very hot and very dry. And I believe it was your decision to wait for nightfall to get started. Well, we might 
we should probably start by finding this guide. Mm -hmm. The guide finds you after a little bit. Uh, he is, you can't tell, he's a humanoid, a little on the tall side for most of the humanoids you, you've seen, Wolks, but he is covered from head to toe in just wrappings, so you can't really tell anything about him uh, other than humanoid. Uh, he comes up to you and he bows and he says, hello, I am Tajid. Who am I to report to? Hello, Tiji. You should probably report to the boss man, who is um, the blue one. You can't miss him. The ringleader. The ringleader. Boss man. Hello. See, can't miss him. Indeed. I shall guide you through. I know the tribes. I know which paths to take. It will take three weeks if everything is well. I do not fight for you. I do not die for you. I am here to show the way, and that is all. Um, the, um, the, the ringleader will have, um, you know, like, just be uh, generally quite normal, and then says, I like you. You're nice. Are you going to eat? Are you going to eat with us? Do you wish for me to eat with you? No, but yes. He doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, Eldon's gonna gonna jump in. It's like you you should you should eat with us. It's like a communal thing, you know. Don't. Yeah, get to know us a little better. What route are you planning on taking? That was rude. So rude. Uh, he is going to um, sort of take you by, he says, we will avoid anything close to the orc tribes. This time of year, we may well see the Aarakocra. Hmm. They have claimed the first oasis. That's gonna be, that's gonna make things difficult. If you have coin, they will take your coin. We've got coin. Sometimes it's better to buy your way out of a fight. There's nothing wrong with that. True. Hopefully that is the only tribe we will directly encounter for the first week. Question, we will... do, I, do I know an out, uh, out of character? Do, does his, uh, um, do, do that dress style or like, do I have any idea what kind of like, have any any inter have, in, have have had any interaction action with a uh, like with his kind? Uh, roll me history. Okay. Uh, eight. You've seen them. You don't know anything about them or their culture. They pop okay. up here and there. There seems to be, or you have the general impression that there is a tribe somewhere of these humanoid people, but they do not interact much. They certainly don't interact much with live lizard folk. <laughs> That's fair. So, okay. um, and as far as Elden, uh, his question, Yes, in fact, I think I would encourage you guys to to do things because you're going to be sitting around during the day all day waiting for nightfall. Yep. 
So even assuming you slept for eight hours, that would still give you eight hours a day. It would make sense to want to do something or work on something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he has something to give a Why don't we yes, have a? Yes, I do. Why don't we have a? Um, well, we could do a practice like fight. I feel like Wilkes will tell us that that would take up too much energy, but I don't. You know, I don't speak for him. Just that we, we started to work together and we're going to need to rely yeah. on each other once we get out into the desert. And so since, you know, rather than fumble our way forward. I think it's a great idea. We do need some practice. We are all very rusty. Yes. Uh, all right. So how were you setting this up? Well, we did, we did encounter rust monsters. So rust being rusty makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I felt your skin. You were just covered in the stuff. Do you like some help rough. cleaning it off? You two going to go take off. a bath in the water that we need to drink? I'm not planning on doing anything like that. Please I don't, don't do that. that. I'm not. What like, do you want so, like, I work with metals all the time. Like, I, I have ways to, like, prevent rust if you need help with that. Like, oils and stuff? I am not a machine. But you're, you said you were rusty. <laughs> no. You said we were rusty. Well, yeah, but I you agreed with me, and I'm just helping you, you know, get unrustied. He just wants to rub oil all over you. Yeah. You can bake in the sun a little bit, and you know, get a little tan and stuff. It'll be good. Good for you. Good for your skin. Tan. You shed, like, you, you'll get, like, you'll shed your old skin and get new skin, right? That's what you do. shed either. Well, but they don't shed? Them. They molt. They molt. You'll molt. That's nothing I've to learned. do with the sun. Well, I just you you agreed that you were rusty, so I just wanted to help you out. All right, Vianney is like going over and like arranging rocks into piles. Um, and she's like, "Okay, this is a group of goblins." Yeah, this I'm gonna help you out with with putting wish out rocks. there. So like, I like, put up like five rocks to represent goblins. Yes, those are the goblins. Well, actually, I'll put no. wish out there too to be like okay, actually trying to dodge shit. And then behind them, like some goblin boss or something who's, you know, <laughs> bigger and badder and ordering him around. Let's say, okay, so how would each of us go about this situation, this scenario? Uh, I've never fought, to... had to fight rocks before. No, to pre pretend they're goblins, right? This is, this is a pack of goblins and a goblin boss. And you're going to face them. But it's them. not. Okay, just pretend. It's a hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. So if these were your enemies, how would how would you go about uh, your attack? I'm gonna hang back here and you know not get near them. All right. I, would I can put use can... one to crag open the other. There you go. Exactly. You Pick them up rocks. and smash them together. Excellent. Mm. All right, you're hanging back. I think yep. the boss would be the person that if I could sneak around you while you all did a distraction, I could sneak up and stab him in the back and maybe distract him from rallying his troops. I'm sure Marble would just run in there. Yeah, we could both go and shiv him. Mm -hmm. So you three go in and shiv. Oh, uh, I, you know what? Can I? Hmm, I probably don't have the items for it. Um, My downtime, I'm going to make an umbrella for Syl so that he can come join us on the outside. I am going to use a guiding bolt on one of the rocks. Ooh. Not really. Getting a bit overzealous with the treat these <laughs> like real goblins thing. Um, and uh, so I didn't really describe what guiding bolt really looks like for uh, the ringleader. Um, the the ringleader kind of like expands, but not in the idea of just like inflating like a balloon. Just gets a bit bigger, right? And then a little hole appears in them, and uh, then a bright light appears there, and then something akin to a railgun being fired occurs, and there's no more rock anymore. It's it's just gone. So we're all just standing there talking, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, explosion. it just explosions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, since we're getting into this, I'm going to grab my syringe and stab Wilkes with it again. <laughs> and Wilkes, you're not even fucking waiting. Nope. 
<laughs> just stab away, and then walks. You feel all like energetic, like bolder than usual. Oh, we're getting a battle map. Brilliant. Yeah, go <laughs> <hell> with it. <laughs> All so right, let's see what we're facing. <laughs> All right, rocks, okay. I'll just pull up some rocks here. <laughs> let's hope that they become constructs while we're fighting. Oh my god, this picture is huge. Yeah. It's a big, big desert. Okay, so let's see. Here. That is, I probably put that on the map <laughs> later, didn't I? <laughs> So that is a one rock. Uh, uh, you you know what? I should just let you. Uh, how many rocks would you have? You did. I said rocks? I said five rocks were going to be the goblins, okay. and then a bigger one for the boss, and then Wish was also out there. Okay. Then the wind lead just blown one up. Okay, so this, um, token layer, but this is uh, and so one big rock. Let's see. Hopefully, this is a big rock. Where did it go? There, yeah, this guy. Big rock right there. He's the leader. All right. And wish. All right, so go ahead. One of them is blown up, so. Oh, that's the one, yeah. Which one would you have blown up? Um. I I I think uh I think it's best to um destroy the side I, I think it's best to destroy the flanks of this cre these guys because that's where they're weakest. So mm -hmm. I would attack from the left side. <laughs> so let's see. Come on, you friggin' there. It's dead. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. That's right. So you blew it up with a guiding bolt. And there was... Uh, who was close to it? <laughs> I don't think anybody's moved close to them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't I, step, actually stepped out to actually punch or do anything. Yeah, I think we're sort of confused, but standing from a distance scenario. discussing yeah, it. Yeah, we were all still discussing it when this when initiative got rolled <laughs> without yeah. our permission. So yeah, yeah, I I initiated combat. I I cowboyed off, and you know, mm. but it had to be done, guys. These rocks. What the hell are you going to do about them? You know, at least they're not maple trees. Those things. <laughs> All right. I mean, so... If we're doing this, Timothy is going to just walk up the middle and say, "So it seems as I'm a distraction." Yeah. So I'll just, oh, just put me on there. So seeing as I'm a distraction, I'm just going to go up and punch them. <laughs> distraction is a key element of this tactical plan. You realize? Yeah, you all distract the front ones. And walks. I, yeah, after I stab walks, I'll give him a little pat in the back and be like, "Go, go get him, big boy." You can regrow your limbs. You can grow, regrow your limbs. It's fine. <laughs> get what? Why are we fighting rocks? Practice. It's practice. practice. Just, like that rock looked at you funny. Just go kick its ass. Rocks cannot look at me. <laughs> uh, temerity. Mm. Roll a uh, attack. It's not real hard, but yes, you get it. All right, roll damage. Yeah, um, it sort of, some pieces of the rock bounce back at you, but not enough to, like, you kind of crack the rock. A little bit of shrapnel is coming back in your way, but if you give me a deck save... 
Uh, yeah, you can take you can take um, a point of bludgeoning damage as one of them kind of nicks you on the eye, right above it. Okay, I gotta be a bit more careful when I punch things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna look at Marble and say, "Do you want to go left or right?" And we'll meet in the middle around the boss. We'll put him in the sandwich. That's a great idea. I can go left and you can go right. All right, let's do that. Because you're always right. Oh my god, you're so sweet. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're going to like, uh, I, I'm going to start stealthing and we're going to, I'm going to go right. I I'm want to stealth too. Yep, and uh, start to try to, out, you know, the flanks here because we already got the explosion on the one flank is a huge distraction. So start moving up and I guess I will need to make, yeah, I'll do a stealth roll. We're treating okay. this like real. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to get to the right part of the right screen. So if you want to go first, Marble, while I'm looking. Uh, Marble, you're having a little oh. trouble with your paws on the dirt, but the rocks don't seem to notice. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am a cat of the grasslands. So mm -hmm. the desert's a little iffy for me. Yeah. So, you only got 18. Biani, you're doing fine. Sneak it up on a rock. Hell yeah. Technically, rocks have true sight, as well as tremor sense. So, you know, like, that's mm -hmm. actually pretty badass. Yeah. All right, who's next? I am going to go grab one of the pieces of rock that exploded. So I'm going to get closer, I guess, mm -hmm. to an exploded rock. I'm gonna take out out of my out of my coat a tiny little catapult, like the tiniest little catapult, and I'm gonna put it in there. Even if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna shoot at the big boss, and I'm gonna cast catapult. All right, nice. <laughs> Is catapult? I, an attack it's like a deck save or... for 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 all. I which I'm sure they'll all. He, he's, he's going to fail the deck save. So yeah, yeah. Oh, there's oh, a, so there's a rock that just hits. No. That just hits them. All right, how much damage? Rock on rock oh, violence. I don't even remember. I'll look it up. It's some amount. Okay. It's like 3d6 or something. It's 3d8. It's 3d8 damage. Okay, I'll take that. 3d8 because I used it in another game and it went bad. Uh, 10 damage. Yeah, it um, it kind of blows a hole right in the middle. There's a little bit of um, of like shrapnel bouncing around, but nobody's really close enough. Except maybe Wish um, can she can do a deck save if if that is appropriate for her. Or not, if it isn't. Oh, um, Wish is going to punch Temerity. Bam. Okay. Punch Temerity. Day seven. What? I don't think that hits Temerity. I don't think a seven hits Temerity. Uh, which which makes like she can't growl, but she makes like a like Beep a gr yeah like a like her gears just get extra like tied up and she's like rrr, 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 at temerity. All right, Zill, are you uh, joining in on this at all? Um, sure. I mean, they're just attacking rocks, right? <laughs> That is what they are doing. <laughs> Pretending they're goblins. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> All right. So Wolks and Zill are not, they're just watching, apparently. Yeah. yeah. This is silly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else here is having way too much fun spending all their spell slots. <laughs> and Volks and no. I'm just like, sneaking no. around. 
I can do that. I have, I've, sneaking. I've spent I all have, but one of my spell slots doing those garbage. So don't get <laughs> we, can, we can sleep before we have I to play, so. travel tonight. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, are we back? We killed the boss, though, right? Yeah, the boss yeah. is dead. Wow. Yeah. So then, hey, look, uh, the boss is dead. Like, I think, I think we succeeded. Good job, everybody. Yeah. So we'll call this. We'll call this the oatmeal, and that's where we attack the front. And we send the two um, stealthy people out to the sides to outflank, and then we also use Elden to like do distance attacks. Yeah. Is it all? Like this, this is plan. the oatmeal. This, so we just someone yells oatmeal, and then we all know I that this like is what oatmeal. we're gonna do. I like this plan, and. Does oatmeal include Walks and Zill or can or, or not? Yeah, they'll probably do more stuff next time, but we've got the okay. basics. Hmm. Okay, sounds good. This was fun. Good job, everybody. Yay! <laughs> That's where we fight rocks and do strategy for our time. All right. <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to sleep before uh, yes. nightfall. Yeah, we have our schedules correct. Okay. Well, like, it's hot out in the middle of the day, so, what, like, 11 o'clock to, like, 6 o'clock, it's disgusting out? Yeah, right? how do you guys all deal with that that heat? Ooh, good question. Gonna have to work on air conditioning. Can I invent air conditioning on this trip? You can try. You can uh, try to invent air conditioning. I am an African cat. So I might be used to the heat somewhat. Yeah, I'd buy that. What you were going to say, I'm an African cat, so I am proficient with air conditioning. Based on her parents' experience <laughs> traveling around the continents and being in different parts of the country, she knows she goes in and finds like a light fabric and sort of like wraps herself in head to toe in very loosely. So she has something light like reflecting off the sun but still enough air circulation to keep her cool okay yeah that sounds about right and Timothy just meditates in the shade of his cart I'm gonna sit in the shade as well uh, I'm a uh, uh, something that I'll do is I'll kind of like showcase another thing that I'm reasonably good at which is you know kind of being a healer um, by just giving Temerity a good brie. You know, this is after the fight, after the quote-unquote fight. I give her a good, a good I give him a good brie. Eats it, gets one hit point back. Well, hey, you're healed. Perfect. Of course, Temerity would definitely thank the leader for that. You're welcome. What, what can I roll to invent? Air conditioning? AC, air, air conditioning. It's got to be a high AC. Pat oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's going to take DC. forever. It's yeah, a high I AC. <laughs> oh, I give up. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, what do you even know about conditioning of air? The conditioning the of air? Yeah. We're African cats for them. Right? Um, we need your HVAC license, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I know that um, I know that in order to get heat out of the air, you need to move it to another thing. Like you, you got to remove the heat and, and uh, thermal equilibrium and shit. So you got to move it. Um, and you usually do that by compressing air. Let's go with okay. compressing air, even if it's not the right one. So I'm going to work on compressing air today. That's what okay. we're going to start with. All right. Uh, roll intelligence. Outright intelligence. All right. Come on, plus three. 15 plus three, 18 whole intelligence. All right. I'm smarty pants. Uh, <laughs> so smart. <laughs> well, today you get a general... Today isn't even going to be like able to do anything with it today is like writing stuff out on plans looking at what you have with you trying to figure out how you would do this and you kind of have a rough sketch um sounds good ringleader uh while you're after all of this you're uh your new scribe 
Cedric comes up to you and says, uh, Hello, ringleader. Hello, Cedric. I was wondering if I could um, be so bold as to teach you how to read. Uh, the ringleader will go very, very still for a bit and then say, and then look around, um, which just requires the ringleader to like extend new pseudopods that form eyes and then just kind of look around and then kind of say, and then seeing that there's no one here, uh, they'll go, uh, okay. All right, so he invites you to his cart, and uh, if you want to roll, roll intelligence with a um, with advantage. Coming up. All right, uh, int. Uh, yeah, eighteen. <laughs> The dice have spoken. I will soon learn to read, I guess. Yes, you are. You do very well at learning your letters today. <sighs> this is the second character who's illiterate that I've had, who just by dint of the dice is now literate. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you have to roll again. Don't be so confident. Don't get yeah. cocky, kid. <laughs> He, uh, Cedric will probably let you know at a certain point, you know, that he's helped people learn to read before. Um, he's a big believer in literacy for everyone. He heard you say that you couldn't read when you first met him. That was something that you told him. And so he just, you can tell, I don't, you can, um, do an insight if you want, but I think it's it's fairly clear that he really cares about this. Uh, so you're probably going to learn to read, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, it will so ringleader useful. ringleader will um, is going to roll insight. All well, right. I, if I could uh, just roll, make it a bit different. This isn't actually to do with, um, like, whether or not he, whether or not Cedric particularly cares. Um, it's about kind of why they would care. So, is it like they just have a feel, have a real passion for teaching, or is it something a bit more of a personal thing that they have? Like, well, like, why is, the, like, why do they want me to, you know? Other than, sure. oh, they care, is why do they want me to learn? All right, go ahead. Hard to tell. Like, he, the passion is very clear to you, but where it comes from, it, it, you know, unless you're going to ask him, it's just very clear that he's enthusiastic about teaching you to read. Okay. Ringleader is um, always happy that uh, is very much a person who's like I'm happy that you're happy kind of thing and is going mm. along with it. Um, Cedric would probably come to realize that you know even though the you know ringleader is generally quite a you know a, a very noticeable person, intelligence and like thinking in abstraction makes this quite difficult. But otherwise, it's like yeah, just. And do the can do the work kind of thing. It's yeah, to do with I mean to. he's he's able to sort of adjust his teaching style to you. Um, so when he mm. figures that out, he's basically like, okay, this shape is buh buh. If you see that shape, that's the sound. Okay. Um, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um. So, all right. Anybody else? Uh, is there anybody else who is setting up? Might we might as well just set it up now? Uh, a thing to learn or do or get better I, at? Or... Yeah, I would like to uh, become better at um, like avoiding things. I would, like I basically want to train up. Uh, like mechanically, I'm training up so that we, when we level up, I get a certain uh, get a certain feat. So I get that'll give me um, uh, 
um, proficiency in dex saving throws. Okay. I think it's called, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, so just for that, for that, like in game, that is why I will be gaining that feat. Okay. So um, let's Probably see. Ask... Just roll a dex. Okay. I was going to ask Ilden if I could borrow a wish <laughs> and have her, her punch at me. <laughs> just don't break her. But yeah. Well, I'm trying to avoid her. Don't let her break you. <laughs> you dex. You... Uh, it's it's a little hard this time. It's a little rough. You're more used to just taking it, you know, taking sort of a an attack. It's it's big in your tribe, like that you can withstand pain, and you know, so it's it's a whole new set of skills for you to mm -hmm. try to move out of the way, uh, because. You know that would be seen as almost cowardly by some of the people so it's not something that you guys spend a lot of time on it but yeah. you know it's a start biani what are you doing yeah actually the ringleader um i think we just um, missed because the the text was the same but uh i think the ringleader was up next uh yeah uh something that um is that okay Sure. Okay, sorry, you just didn't respond, and I was like, am I muted? Oh, okay. sorry. No, okay. No, uh, yeah, something that kind of is on top of no, not just learning to read. Um, the ringleader uh, wants to, like, make a kind of point of sitting down and getting to know, like, every person on the team kind of thing. And it's not going to be, like, a, you know, hijinks and chew, whatever, but it's just about, like... I'm new to the job and, you know, these guys need to know that, like, I'm about and I can kind of, like, help out and stuff like that. Um, you know, catapult and wench notwithstanding. Okay. No, that, that, that's that's can... all I've got, yeah. All right, so who do you want to talk to first? Um, I'd actually be very interested to talk to Zill. Okay. So, so where are you during this ungodly hot, bright weather? I have a large hat and I'm underneath the awning of the cart and I'm just sitting there and trying my best to not look at the sun. Hello, Zill. Yes. I think we haven't spoken very often since you joined, so it's important to me that I know that I can build up my uh, my acumen as a speaker. So will you talk with me? Sure, why not? I have nothing else to do. Okay, you told us that you said that you was from the Underdark. What's the Underdark? What is the Underdark? Well, yes. <laughs> it's like a different world, but on the ground. You see, you have here in the Underdark, we call this the Overworld, or the Under, um, as you may call it, the Underdark. Essentially, it is a series of caves that are connected, um, endless caves and caverns, really? chasms and the like, that go on endlessly, that wow. circumvent the entire globe. Is it hot? No, it's never hot unless you're near I don't like the heat. It's hot. It's hot here. I don't like it. No, and it's too bright. I like bright. It's big. I don't. I don't like it at all. I can glow. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. But did you come from the Underdark? Did you leave the Underdark because you were happy there? Oh, I was very happy in the Underdark, of course. Oh. Well, just couldn't stay. Just could not stay. 
Um, the uh, ringleader is actually going to not say anything and is going to kind of like just look at you and I guess you could say that it's like expectantly like kind of like yo you want us chat chat you know he just may he he keeps the exact same expression staring back at you okay um yeah uh, the the ringleader is going to do this for a little while um and then after about you know like maybe seven minutes and 32 seconds of continuous staring will eventually ask, uh, do, uh, do you have a pet? A pet? <laughs> well, I look over at the pyromancer, who has <laughs> kind of been allowed to stay near the cart, but not really in it. Does, does that count? I, I kind of look over at it, at the pyromancer, and look back and go, He waves no. at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pyromancer. <laughs> Fuck you, Zill. I can't keep my voice. No. Yeah, that's a pyromancer. Well, where I'm from, that would be a pet. <laughs> the. the... The the, the, the the ringleader's mind is fucking destroyed at this point. <laughs> Can't deal with it. Um, and then uh, we'll kind of change their subject. Uh, change change their subject and go. What's your favorite kind of orange? My favorite kind of orange is a tangerine. I have never had an orange, unless that's one of the things in the meals we eat sometimes here. Sometimes, yes. Then, yes, I've had an orange. I don't know. There's a difference. Oh. Do you want to ask me any questions? What are you? I'm a slime. <laughs> You're a slime? I've not met intelligent slime before. Uh, the, the, the ringleader will just, like, look at you with, like, you know, a look, and then just kind of says, I don't know what to say to that. How did you gain your sentience? I don't know. You don't know? What's your earliest memories? There was a tight hole and it hurt. And then I came out of it. And then someone screamed. Mm. It was bright. I liked it. It was bright. Well, I didn't like that. Interesting, interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Do you, is there something else I can do for you, ringleader? How did you become the ringleader? I asked really nicely. You just asked and they let you do it. Yes. Vianney's gonna be hearing this because she's, you know, like, she's gonna pipe up like for 10 years. Oh, he asked for. You asked for 10 years. Yeah. Very nicely. Very nicely and insistently. No. No. Well, that is interesting. Um, if you... No, I'll look that up myself. Well, it was good chatting. I have very important things to do. Do you like the circus? Oh, absolutely. I love it. Good. Um. Yeah, and just yeah. float the fuck away. <laughs> insight. Oh, shit. I want to, insight you want oh, to see shit. what you... <laughs> just curious. Uh, good. Ooh. Zill, are you telling porkies? Well, let me tell ask you. He's not hiding it. He, can, <laughs> he, he has. He seems to have nothing but contempt for the circus. <laughs> Why are you got to be so mean to the ringleader, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you asked a drow. His last story. 
<laughs> and like um uh, the the ringleader is like going to say why did you lie to me it's not very nice i will tell you i'll give you a very simple hint ringleader i am a drow And then I'm going to step inside the cart and shut the door. <laughs> uh, the ringleader is going to stand there for a little bit and then says to literally thin air, right? What does that have to do with anything? God. And just floats away. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, uh, no, that, that's, that's very canon, canon now, but I would love it if it wasn't canon. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, and like, you know, this is over the next three weeks and all that. So like, uh, it's just kind of a thing of I'll go to every like NPC kind of character and sit down and chat with them, that kind of thing. Anyway, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Viani, I think it's your turn. Yeah, Viani is going to wait until she sees Elden on his own. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and head over and say, can I ask you a couple questions in kind of more private? Uh, yeah. You want to go into the cart? Yep, that's Should okay. Uh, I'm going to tell the, the boys, who I'm assuming hang around me all the time, <laughs> to go do, uh, go do a little little shift or go, go, work on, go work on the metal stuff. Yeah. They go and work on the metal stuff. Perfect. Yanni looks a little bit skulky, like unnecessarily, considering everybody can see everything as she makes yeah. her way in. Yeah, you do, you do realize it's like the middle of the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure. But this is our only window, and we need filler before the night. So. Okay. <laughs> what are you being sketchy about? Well, I'm not being sketchy. Okay. She's <sighs> being a tad bit sketchy. Okay, well... You so you went to university for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know it, it didn't end well, but you were there and you went to classes and you learned like you know th th you, things that m most people wouldn't come across, right? Yeah. And I was wondering how common it is to like for people to be able to hear other people's thoughts. Oh, uh, I think there's a whole like school of magic dedicated to that. I mean, what would you kind of like? How would you know if you belong to that school of magic? Are you hearing things? I think I'm. Sometimes I mean, it's really faint, and if I focus on it too much, it goes away. But it's something that I've had since I was a kid. But I don't know. Ever since we started fighting together the other night and working together, and it was really important for me to like understand what was happening. I just. I feel like with this group, I can sometimes catch like a scent on the wind of what they're feeling or thinking. Like you can, you can, can you hear like specifically the people around like Wolks being like, I'm going to eat that man's hand kind of thing. Or is it more like a feeling? It's kind of hard to say. Sometimes they blend because people are thinking about what they're feeling. But I don't know. It's kind of like an echo in a dark hallway, or, you know, a long hallway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, there are a lot of magics that do that. They can let you do that. There are, I know, some creatures who have innate telepathy and they can just hear things. Uh, I. I'm gonna have to do more research on this, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an, I'll keep uh, reading through some of my books and see what I can, I can find for you. Thanks, Eldon. I, I know the university thing is kind of a tough topic, but you were the person who had, you know, you, you knew nobody, you know, more than anyone else, and I, I'm glad that you will help me out. It's okay, you know, you know, we, we, it's fine. It's in the past. It'll be okay once I get rid of Montgomery. 
Yeah, and it's still useful stuff, you know. You're you're helping me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll 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 read through my books. When I, when I find something out, I'll let you know. She gives him like a big smile and kind of like starts to go to hug him, but then doesn't know she knows him that well enough and just kind of like shrugs and heads out the door. <laughs> And scene. And scene. Marble, is there anything you're going to do for the next several weeks? Not so I don't like. Um, I'm mostly going to hang out with my aunt, see mm-hmm. if she needs anything, mm-hmm. skip around camp and see if anybody wants to hang out. All right. Just yeah. generally fiddle for around. Being a cat. Being a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Just being a cat. All right. That's cool. <laughs> just meow about. Is a solid plan. Routine is off. You're just going to go meow at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Your aunt today is also being a cat. She's just like inside fanning herself, going, uh, meow. <laughs> <laughs> So that's about it. <laughs> you may have to like wander about a bit, but you know, yeah, it is what so it I, is. So I will like hang out with her for a bit, but then get bored and go find someone else to hang with. More than likely, uh, Viani. She's my girl. Sure. Uh, Timothy. Is there anything you've got planned? I just want to make sure if, if people have something planned to remind you to make checks during. Well, when he's not meditating or trying to prepare something interesting with the food for everyone, he'll probably be exercising, having parked his cart so he can make sure that uh, whenever Elden might be out and about, Timothy's exercising where he's going to sit. Okay. Just trying to wind him up a little. Um, well, Eldon looks pretty busy today. So, I don't know. Um, so it's going to be right back. So I think we can go into dinner. Um, at least get that set up it's it's turning late so this is going to be right before you guys all sets um set off finally after all the planning um it's the temperature is starting to drop like precipitously um the stars are coming out it's quite beautiful um, for those who appreciate that. And yeah, so you all sit down for your meal. And any last minute discussions? Uh, Tajid comes over and he rather rigidly sits down. Uh, what would Temerity have made today? For dinner. Well, she would have started by using the last of his yeast to make some nice bread, and then mm-hmm. use that to make cheese on toast for everyone. Okay. He accepts the bread that is given to him. He breaks it. Um, puts a little, finds something with salt on it, and, you know, uh, puts that in the bread and uh, takes a bite and then waits for everyone else to take a bite as well. Lorch is just downing, like, it's just the whole piece of bread, bread with, uh, with cheese just into mouth and, like, eating it. There's no table manners. So. Mm. Uh, uh, he will say, if you're, everybody else is eating, he will say to you, it is of some significance to my people, breaking bread and salt. So I'm really curious, why the salt? Like, did you know that, like, salt 
dries you out in the desert. Is it a ritual thing? Like, what, what's going on? There's very little salt in the desert. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's probably a very rare spice. Yeah. We must, very... despite the fact that it does dry people out, we must make sure to have some. Yes. Makes perfect sense. I was just curious about your, your culture. It's very interesting. I've never heard of anybody putting salt on bread, but I don't come from the desert, so... There's a little salt in the bread. Yeah, he didn't just, like, pick up salt and put it on the bread, but, like, he put something that has salt in it on top of the bread, whatever it is that you served. Might have been cheese, and he might have put, like, a little bit of salt or pepper on top of it or whatever. Yeah, you have, like, bread with, like, salt flakes. Yeah. All right. I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show, you know, a bit of... You know, respect for this by, um, you know, just kind of like uh, I don't, I don't really know how else to kind of say. It's like the rest of the trip will kind of like be accommodating of that, you know, big importance and everything like that. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I'll ask Temerity. I'm not going to tell her to tell him to do anything. Um, but yeah. Um, I just want to make sure that uh, our guide is happy to be guiding us. I will do what I can with the food and some of the drink, but I, there won't be any more of this lovely soft bread on the journey. That's the last of my yeast. And the ringleader will be very unhappy oh, with that. So, sorry, dude. Um, the ringleader will be unhappy with that. He likes yeasty things. <laughs> All right, to the people who went back, uh, you guys have sat down for dinner, and Tajid sat down with you. And that's about it. Is there anything? I shoved my sandwich into my metal lunchbox. Biani will look around the table and ask, are we going to talk about the watch? Oh, we're letting out. Well, how about how much longer we're at dinner? Are we going to sleep after dinner? Or are we going to have dinner and then we're going to leave? I'm sorry. I'm going to leave. And leave. Oh. Where are we? I'm sorry. I was. I had to go pull a we... bone shard out of my mouth. Oh, it'll happen. Yeah, I was tape taken out like two or three months ago. And oh, one no. just worked its oh, way. Oh yeah. Ow. That'll happen. Uh we're 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 leaving. We just had dinner and now we're leaving. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're continue. Leaving. It's not time. We're leaving so like, through our first night at the desert because we decided oh, to mm -hmm. roam at night, not during the day. Oh, we never oh. um we never actually got what you're gonna be spending time on. Oh, well. I'm, I'm spending time, um, you know what, I'll spend time learning to actually play these cards that I have here. Okay. So I'll, I'll take this time to practice at learning a new tool. All right. How are you going to do that by yourself? Are you going to invite other people? Um, you know, I'll try to learn the basics alone, and then I will probably talk to myself like a crazy person for a while. Mm -hmm. And once I realize that the um, voice, the entity that is here is not speaking to me, I'll probably get the pyromancer and force them to play with me regardless if they want to or not. She's actually quite happy to do so. Wonderful. Uh, we'll we'll be both be learning this game, I hope. Oh, yeah. I, I've never played, but that's have fun. Have you played Dragon Chess before? No. No. Well, okay. Well, that's two things you can learn. Uh, have you ever played Halfling Hopscotch? Oh, is that is that a physical activity? Yes. No. Then I won't. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you ever, do you like jump rope double no. dutch no <laughs> do you like it involves fire? me going out there no i don't it's actually too bright <laughs> okay well we could just do the cards we're going to do the cards okay so and i'll <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, so do you want to roll an intelligence? Sure. Oh, let's see. Occasionally, she'll tell you how fun halfling hopscotch is. I'm just, I'm tuning it out. <laughs> That's fine. Intelligence. Oh, boom. Wow. You've got you're this took, is not hard I like took to it yeah you took right to it uh all right so i think is that everybody is there anybody that i didn't get to yeah uh, um there are no ships in the desert for people who might be asking that in the chat the it's very sandy so there are no ships. Just FYI. <laughs> All right. So, um, so you uh, start out. I'm gonna have you. Let's see. I'll just go person by person. Wolks, why don't you? Um... <laughs> Sorry. Why don't you uh, roll me a d6? Okay. That's a four. Um, it's not, it takes a little bit to get up and just get the whole idea of the caravan uh, working. You know, like the guide gets a little frustrated a couple times, like you're like, you don't wander off you stay together form a formation you're going straight like come on people but after a while uh you are able to uh, make reasonable time uh so much that uh on this first day he appears at the end satisfied like yes well, this is the appropriate amount of time that we have made um I'm going to skip forward for the first, and we're just going to keep doing this for a few days to see how far you're able to get, if you're able to get to that, um, that first oasis and see what happens. All right. Uh, I will say ringleader, you can roll a D six. Uh, hey guys, I, I killed us. Yeah. <laughs> roll a d20. He rolled a one, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 18. So. Uh, at a certain point, you start to. Who's, who's doing the lookout here? Or are you just walking? Um, I think, let me just double check Vianney. I would imagine Marble and Vianney would be up front kind of keeping an eye out. Mm -hmm. So there's my roll, 22. Okay. At a certain point, you start to, first you hear it, like a kind of a buzzing busy buzzing sound okay can i identify the direction are we is it behind us in front of us to our sides it seems to be through to your side okay um east or well left or right ah sorry uh it's yeah. coming from the east coming from the east all right um i'll kind of like uh, go over to marble see if she hears it too. And I will. Maybe with advantage, can we come kind of pointing out what yeah. she should be listening yeah. for? 
Yes, you can definitely hear it. I don't know what that sound is. All right, let's, uh, who is in the front? I would definitely be up, up in the front as well. Okay. Let's tell Wilkes. Yeah, let's go to the front of it and uh, have him stop for a bit and get everyone to stop before we go any further and see if anyone else can maybe recognize it better than we can. So that's what we do. Run to the front and yep. say, Wilkes, Wilkes, we hear something. Maybe we should stop. Would be something. Can I hear a buzzing? Uh, Is there a buzzing? Can I take an attempt, the attempt to see if I can hear it? Yep. Uh, why don't you just do a nature check for me? Oh, you, okay. Uh, the fact that you point, they're pointing it out. <laughs> well, that was terrible. Uh, you can hear it. Uh, you know what? I'll give you because this is your place. This is where you're from. I'll give you advantage on it. Let's try and rolling again. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Mm. Yeah, you, you hear. There's a lot of things that buzz in the desert. You know, it's a buzzing place. There are insects. That's a problem. Hmm. Is there a way for me? To, well, I can't. Really, I can't see since it's middle of the night. Well, it depends on how much moonlight there is, I guess. Since Would you guys have, to... have lit up your? Caravan or just been going in the dark? Ellen definitely put like five lights on his caravan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it would probably be the best idea that we just had the lights on because otherwise. Yeah, I was thinking we lose each like other. Looking, I was making more like looking out over. I was going to crawl up. I want to like get on top of one of their. Um, the cards and like have see if I can see anything, but I don't have dark vision. So if it's like <laughs> pitch black, I think that won't really help me. Okay, here is a thing. Yeah, Vox mm -hmm. could mm -hmm. um, say it, like if you just said that um, the ringleader can cast dark vision on you and give you dark vision. Well, again, it depends on if it's like, is it like really bright because of like it's a full moon and stars, or is it pitch black? It's not because... pitch black. It is bright from stars. There is some moon. It's not a full moon, but it's like a half moon today. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it is, uh, there are no clouds. You know, there's nothing to sort of block the light of the stars and the. Okay. So, so there's well, some degree of brightness out. I'll get on the top of, of on top of the um, uh, the card to have a look uh, and see if I can see anything in that direction. All right. So just roll a straight perception. Okay. Twenty-two. Oh. I'll uh, probably also flick my tongue and see if I can smell anything. Yeah. All right. Uh, once you start with the tongue, that's when it comes to you, and you're like, oh, crap, it's hellbugs. Um, I'll call down to the rest. Um, we have hellbugs coming. What are hellbugs? Uh, hell what? Hellbugs. The big, big insects. Do we hide? Where do we go? Oh, that's what those were. Yeah, tell us what you know about these things. What, what do I know about these Should things? Should we run? Should we stand? If we're quiet, do they just fly over us? What do we do? Should I um, roll in nature, or will I know I those? mean, they're coming from the east, so we could just go in the opposite direction of them. All right, uh, yeah, you'll know at least something of them, but let's see how much you know. So why don't you roll nature? Okay. Plenty. And... Oh, good go. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So hellbugs are a race of large carnivorous bugs that live on, in hives under the ground. If they have come up, it's because they sensed prey. And 
that's probably you. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> they are, let's see, six legged. Uh, they have teeth. Um, they have hives. They return, they basically, they go, they'll either kill or maim and then drag their prey back into the tunnels for their matron, the queen. Mm. Lovely. Are they like flying insects or? Mostly not. But mm. there are, uh, as a lot of hive insects are, different insects have different... Um, okay, it's a cast system. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you have the non-flying one, but they they definitely Oops. attack as basically as like a pack would attack. Mm -hmm. Well, there, we need to make a decision us, now. Is so, there any point in us trying to like outrun them or hide in any way, or do we just face them head on? With our perception I mean, rolls, are they getting closer? If, if that's probably a good question as yeah. well. They're getting, they're going to be getting closer. Uh, they might be trying to be a little more, uh, well, all right. So who's going to be looking out for that? Uh, I can There's still be paying attention. Have you, yeah, have you relayed all of this to like, yes, I will relay all of this. Yes. Yeah, okay. we're going to go to the yeah. beginning, stop the entire caravan and bring people yeah. together and talk okay. to you. tell because it was wolves. the three of us yeah and then okay i got an wolves. idea okay um i bring out bring out a little little music box walks mm -hmm. sound injured for me will you oh my god not this again i'll attempt to sound as injured as i can it's not really something i'm good at that's All okay right, roll performance <laughs> 15. oh good okay. go mm -hmm. nice so job that was that was very good. I I thought you were in real danger there, Wilkes. Um, and then I'm gonna take a one of my little firefly lanterns and I'm gonna I don't know tie it all together and be like, all right, let's just keep moving and we'll throw this back and see if they get attracted to the lantern that's screaming like Wilkes. Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. Let's that's turn off. Let's let's. How about we turn off as many lights as we need to, so we just can. Um, like keep a light in front would know they're blind they are not yeah. they might they'll hear they're not going to see mm. anything so okay so the light part is probably useless okay yeah. mm -hmm. we'll just throw we'll just throw the music box out then we should mm -hmm. all be as quiet as we can too yes yes i can i can throw multiple multiple of them too i can doesn't have to be one so i'll have one with walks uh so scream like to... scream like you're 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 dying please no. <laughs> Bionni! <laughs> help me, help me! At this point, Timothy would had his wings to Cedric and had jumped into the air. <laughs> oh, help uh, me, help me, help me, lordy, lordy. Help yeah, me, I got that one. Please. Okay, Lovely. I need, I need, I can do one more. All right, so. I need, I need to uh, hear, <laughs> um, I need a performance check on that. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. <laughs> I... <laughs> You sound nice. just like a Southern Belle. <laughs> in the game, not in here. <laughs> oh, sweet Lord, bless my soul. <laughs> All right. So with that, I'm going to get Marvel to do the last one. Okay. Like meow and pin. Yeah. Perform. Yeah, pretty. You sound like a... You get oh, into it. You're like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a All little right. Shakespearean, but it works. All right. So I got three three music boxes with actress. three people screaming, and we're gonna go and we're gonna throw them out the back okay. as we're going. All right. So, uh, and are you going quickly or slowly to be um, careful? But they hear by noise. Like, yeah, but hopefully the noise that we threw out is more attractive than like wheels turning. How from the perception checks we made, can we roughly estimate how far away they are? 
it's more like how much time of like movie actually has to be in a way. Um, let's say. I like the hearing version of Black it's... Most Pages. <laughs> Wait, you don't understand that reference yet. All right, so the percept you had a pretty yeah. good perception. The we'll get there after the Matrix. Yeah. It's the next two Is anybody Sorry. else doing a perception check before I decide this? Oops, it's trying to jump into the air. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just you're. It is difficult for you to gauge distances with all this friggin' sand. You know, it's just. I mean, but you get the sense that they're uh, right now. They're coming pretty fast. They haven't gotten close enough um, to have encountered your stuff yet. So if you, if they actually do stop. Um, and if it uh, stops them long enough, then you guys might have a, a good shot of getting away from them. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Everyone sit quietly, please. Sit Quickly, please. but quietly. Okay. So everyone uh, roll stealth. We'll just do a group, group stealth check, and we'll assume that this is good for the whole party. Timothy's gonna stay in the air, but okay, which is probably a good thing to get at that. All right, <laughs> so we have a uh, 23, two 23s, a 12, a 10, a 6, and but a 5. In the All right, and a 16. Uh, All yeah, right. and a 16. Give me a second to do math. And this is actually divided by six, not five, because temerity is up in the air, right? Which means you don't need to include a 10. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slow at that. No worries. Okay. All right. So that's that part. And um, I need Elden to roll deception. Uh, since you did three, I'll let you uh, roll with advantage. He's in the bathroom. He'll be back in a sec. That's all right. While he's not here, it's such a dead air. Are we oh, going to have the caravan moving at walking pace, or...? If you're trying to go sl uh, slow and steady and kind of stealthily, then I would say, like, yeah, probably uh, that's... You're not going fast. Yeah, right, so Timothy should be able to drop back, keep an eye on, and then catch up again. Fifteen. Okay. Um, all right, so as you're looking out, whoever's doing the looking out, I'm assuming, is, is looking pretty closely to see, uh, you do see that they, at, at least at first, they seem to be surrounding and messing with the things. You're not sure how much time that's going to give you, but you're able uh, to make some degree of difference distance these things seem to go about as fast as the average uh creature uh would it's just they're small but what you see are small uh though there's a lot of them 
but they they move about 30 feet typical amount not particularly faster or slow okay um so go ahead and so you're going to continue with this the idea of keeping going trying to be quiet yeah all right i think so i can keep making more boxes too um it's just that the old boxes are going to run out but i can make more boxes people think that that might help didn't mean to post that Oh, you make one more, give it to Merity, and Merity can throw it. Oh, that's a good, oh, I kind of pulled it, but no, I like your idea better. So uh, I'm going to grab one of my, I'm assuming my the goons are near me, they're in the, my cart in some way or fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to have one of my goons scream into it, into a music box, oh. and then give it to Merity. All right. Uh, why don't you just roll uh, a deception? Okay. Thirteen. Okay. So Temerity gives it a toss, and <laughs> Temerity, and my dog barks because you know she's. This is getting very upsetting. So. <laughs> It's okay, honey. I know. I know. I know. She's upset. Sorry. Uh, so Temerity gives it a toss. Uh, and one of the others blink out. At this point, uh, they're coming at you. Uh, so they don't seem at all attracted by the other things anymore you get the sense that they figured out the the game here that this is not real food okay. they want real food all right but you land on the cart go eldon they're still coming looks like they figured this out they might be smart but the jig is up all right let's get everybody besides the ones who don't have range stuff get on top of the carts okay um, hop on top of the cart. I'm, I'm, I'm going to like. I just want to ask a couple of questions to GM. Mm -hmm. um, like, the people who aren't like party members, NPCs, and stuff like that, are they like purely followers or anything, or do any of them have any kind of like combat acumen? Um, you would know that Calio can mm -hmm. throw down if he wants to. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh, he generally prefers to stay with the circus and not, like, go running off. Mm -hmm. um, you're not real sure if anybody else, you don't think anybody else really is all that interested okay. in fighting. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to uh, say to, like... Um, I'm going to say to Eldon and everybody, you know, because everyone's kind of like getting together, Temerity's just come down and sort of said what he said. I'm going to speak up and I say, we have to make sure that everyone is safe and comfortable. So we should go in one direction and these guys go in the other. And then we meet up with them later after we kill the bugs. Uh, boss man, that's a, that's a terrible idea. I kind of like. I, I kind. Of, I kind of just. Uh, yeah. Uh, now. 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 Response. Really. <laughs> I'm just like looking at you. Looking at you. But expecting they like. Can continue on this. If they continue straight, we can follow their tracks and catch up with them afterwards. We just need to put a stop to the bugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the other bugs? Yeah. I'll be able to nav. I will be able to navigate us through this with some success. I. I think we can just keep running and just. I can shoot them down and. So yeah, can the rest us. of you who are who can shoot things down just take up the rear and we'll just keep them keep them away. Yeah. No need to stop. That yes. way we can we can keep up we can keep while well, yeah. Like gaining more ground. Yeah, hold the defense rather than actually like trying to go at them. Just sit here and eventually they'll they'll tire themselves out. Probably us too, but hopefully before we get tired out. Keep moving. 
Yes, yeah, we keep should moving. keep moving. Yeah. So everyone who can everyone who can shoot something has a crossbow or a bow, get to the last cart and we'll hold our ground there. And everyone who can't, make sure that the animals and everyone's still going in a straight line. No. I'll I'll be in the last cart as well in case to catch up to us. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Maybe two carts then. You're big you're a big man. Yeah, and he whips out her short bow. All right. Um, now I will say we are at almost seven thirty, not quite, mm -hmm. but it might be a good place to yeah. take a break. Yeah. So. Glad right. to. Excellent. Okay. So then let me just do. Let me natter uh, on while I do the things I have to do to do the things that I need to do next. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be coming back at uh, what is the current time? It is currently. 17 minutes past the hour so we're going to come back at 32 minutes past the hour yeah ish ish 35 call it 35 yeah all right something like that see y'all later wait 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 before you before oh, you switch yeah. out can i can i plug um everyone if you haven't should go to our ret and disc on the twitters for two studies of uh inflated angry a uh, ringleader and surprise ringleader <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking forward to the clips from this night because I, I especially want that horrible pun about yes. ac in there yeah definitely. <laughs> go check that out all right we'll be back in about 35 minutes after the hour hey everyone we are back and after a couple technical glitches hey we're still getting off the ground be patient with me um yeah we are back to carry on with our desert adventure so who's uh who's who am I kicking it to? Well, um, the DM, I would assume. <laughs> yep, right here. Uh, so you guys' plan was to have long distance people, people with long distance attack, to be at sort of the last um, last wagon, and you are watching these these little skittery bugs. Um come at you and you're going to try to hit them so um i'm going to let you guys do that so who for right now i'm not changing anybody's um biani you have a long distance do you want to try do you first of all do you have uh light uh, dark vision nope and that explains my 10 yeah <laughs> these are big bugs yeah and it's a, at a distance in the dark yeah. so but she understands that um even if she weapon. gets a bit close they might be a bit cagey and they might you know get scared mm. off so she's going to use her turn to fire off into the dark in the direction of the sound all right marble do you have any range weapons I have a range i have two range spells all right. Uh, and you have dark vision, so you should be yes. all right. Okay, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. All right. At them. Ooh. Ooh, that nice. Oh, Ugh. that was terrible. Yeah, way off, way off, way off. There's now some sand. Oh, well. Seven. To John. <laughs> yep. So... All right, yeah, you know what? It is sandy as you guys are like on the move with these things going up. And it's not my like, eye. It's it's difficult. It's difficult. We get it. All right, Temerity, do you have any ranged attacks? Uh, I do, but they're actually crap, so I'm not going to use them. All right. Uh, Zill. I have a crossbow. So, 17. I believe that hits. Uh, give me two seconds. Yep, that hits. All right, so roll Four uh, damage. damage. Okay. Four damage. All right. Uh, wait, let me see one thing. At this point, uh, you notice they all go under the ground. Because these are burrowing underground insects. Fun. So, 
I'm having flat flashbacks to Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so what are you gonna do? Uh, let's see. Who's up in the? It's the ringleader's turn. Yay! I am going to be exuberant and lovely and assume the starry form of the archer so I can shoot things and be cool. Pew pew. Um, and they're all underground and that's a bit annoying, but all the same, I'm going to. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, I really wish I'd done that, but oh well, whatever. I am going to prepare an action, and the prepared action is going to be um, if I can see any of the burrowed bugs like start to rise out of the ground, I'm going to take a pot shot of them. Okay. Um, so that brings us to Elden. All right. Who's is either Temerity or Walks nearby? Uh, I will be nearby. Yeah, you did say. All right, take a syringe and I'm gonna stab him. Um, <laughs> with what? What are you doing to me? <laughs> so many things. You'll be fine. I promise you. You you will not be afraid, and you will feel extra vital. Steroids, extra vitality. Extra vibes. Yeah, for steroids. You mean, do you even know what steroids are? No. Like, you didn't Neither go to school. You. I, I do. I went to school. Good sir. I have for like life. three fourths of a degree. <laughs> it's more than you have. Um, but yes. Well, so what is this movie. that you've just uh, heroism? <laughs> As okay. a heroism, yes. I don't remember what that was. You gain five uh, extra HP, temporary okay. HP, and you are immune to being frightened. Oh. All right. Thank you. Uh, Wolks, are you going to do anything? or? Um, I am also going to hold an action. Um, well, I can't hold movement. Uh, I'm going to hold him and I'm going to. I'm gonna walk like be so I'm off the cart and walking like basically walking like half backwards. And if anything comes up near me or within five feet of me, I'll I'm gonna punch it. Okay. So what I need now is for you guys to sort of put yourselves, we can assume that you are on a on a wagon, uh, but put yourself where on this wagon you think you would be in relationship to each other, other than Wolks, who has now gotten off the wagon, I believe. Yeah, I'm like walking backwards. Okay. Keeping an eye out of them. So is this assuming that um, Elton is on top of the wagon? Um, I'm going to be sat basically on the top of the wagon. Um, like if there's any kind of like roofing or anything like that, I'll basically be kind of like slung over that. Mm -hmm. Twenty's still going to be flying. Okay. I'll be uh, on top of the wagon as well. Mm -hmm. In mm. where in your general, how close to the wagon will you be flying, Temerity? Um, probably 10 feet above it, back and forth, trying to look for where these bugs are going to come up. Okay. And uh, how long can you fly for, just out of curiosity? Well, yeah, well, I would sure. assume. I mean, it's your natural wings. Mm. They yeah. are natural, so... Just try to see if I can put up the traits. Pretty sure it doesn't matter. <sighs> oh, 
Doesn't say anything about limits. It's just flight speed is the same as normal speed, so. I think it would kind of go under the same kind of assumptions as like um kind of like if you just ran forever you'd get yeah. exhausted, you know? So I think it kind of goes yeah. under the same kind of idea, you know? Yeah, but you have no problem staying up for the the length of this battle is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know really like what are the, the directions on the map. Like I just placed myself here. I don't know. That's that's fine. I'm assuming that okay. this is the front and you guys are going this way. Okay. Over here. All right. So Temerity, why don't you roll a D6? A one. Okay. <laughs> yes, E1. All right. So, you guys are still going for a bit when you see kind of popping out of the sand. Oh, nope. Well, now you can see what it looks like, but it's on the wrong. Also, hang on a second. Hmm. Sorry. So this ugly looking thing is what you see. Is he but much is he that smaller? Big? No. Okay. He's much smaller. Uh he <laughs> is gonna pop out here. Um and I'll let people who held uh who held any actions um go ahead and shoot at him though there will be a couple more aha uh -huh. yeah okay uh, sorry about that first one seven okay so no, that does not hit this. I get to punch this one because it's next to me. Okay. Mm. Nope, I completely missed. All right. That's true. Uh, anybody else hold any actions? Seems not. All right. So, Biani, yep. look at these ugly things. I can see it now, right? Yep. You can see it. All right. She lets her arrow fly still, just bites the butt, and um, then she is going to give Wolk's bardic inspiration. Like, hey, you have to do better than me. <laughs> and so you are now inspired. It's a what, D6? Yeah. Um, I will check, but that sounds right. I never, I never remember. Um, it's bardic inspiration. I will look, I will write it in the chat. That's fine. D6. D6. That's cool. Great. That in my notes. And that's right. her turn. All right. Marble. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try guiding bold again. On which one? Um, this one, I guess. Sure. That does not hit. How come my other rolls do better? <laughs> They're still staying in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Temerity. It's going to fly down the first one he saw. Mm -hmm. And he's going to attack you with the spear. Okay. Nope. Typical. That one hit. Yay, six bludgeoning. Okay. All right. That's that. All right. Next. Uh, actually, now it's their turn. All right, so we'll put them on.
<laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what do you have to type it? <laughs> so much happened at once. Walks, why did you jump off the cart? I was really dumb. <laughs> do, do you want me to be able to do things or not? We're going to leave it behind. I'm walking with you. We are not leaving anyone back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I'll have to tell my kids not to necessarily give me my phone. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, so, uh, one is going to attack Wolks. And he is going to uh, try to bite you. So, oh, let's see if we can. Ugly it. little uh, 16 plus. Yeah, okay. So, and that does. Um, No damage. Yeah, he does. No, yeah, it does no damage. No. Uh, it is um, 12 damage. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to go with average damage. They bite, they get 12. And he's going to try and bite you again. These are bitey little thingies. Uh, so these are all plus five. I'm guessing that doesn't hit. That does not hit. All right. Uh, this one is going to climb up a bit. They are climbers, and he's going to start trying to chew on our friend Marble. 16. Um, doesn't hit. Okay. All right, and he'll try again, and definitely doesn't hit. Um, this one is already engaged with... Merity, so he's gonna try to get you. Actually, uh, seven doesn't hit. Seventeen does hit. That is a twelve piercing damage. Ow! Yeah, they they can get you. All right, that brings us to Zill. Um, the one on Temerity, I am going to cast Toll the Dead, so it needs to uh, make a wisdom saving throw. All right. How, how wise is the bug? How wise is the bug? That's a good question. DC but is 14. How, how wise are you? He's not that wise. So, uh, so how much damage does that do? Eight radiant. Hey. Right. And that'll be my turn. Okay. All right. And ringleader. Uh, apologies about that. Um, so, for a bonus action, I'm going to pop the archer line again and see what happens. Zoop. Ooh, a 19. Does that hit um, the one that was I was attacking before? It, it does. Okay. Four radiant damage. Um, then I'm going to... Uh, Blat. Uh, a lovely guidance. Yes, I shall splat a lovely guidance and it shall go onto the ineffable and lovely Zill. Zill, who is right next to me. All right. Oh, uh, just double checking. I put that hit onto the one near Waltz. Was I right about that, though? I, um, I thought the first one to come out was this okay. little, little bugger. So I'm, I'm, right. I was going for that one. Um, but yeah, 
that that is my turn for right now. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, Elden. All right. I'm, I'm going to yell at Walks. Walks. Jumping off the cart was not part of the plan. Wish, go make sure he doesn't die. I'm going to send Wish out to help him out. So Wish is going to jump off the cart and go punch that one. With a 13, no, 14. 14 hits. <gasps> Way to go, Wish. What Gasp. is your damage? How much damage do you do? A D8? My goodness, this is like the first time you hit anything. Uh, eight points of damage. Ooh. Force damage. She punches the thing. How forceful? With force. Lots of force behind it. Use the force, wish. Mm -hmm. um, right. and, and then I'm going to use my action to attack the one near Temerity. Thoracic Temerity with a 14 away again. That hitting. still hits. With a 10 points of damage, piercing damage, the bullet screeches by and uh, cuts through the one bugging temerity. That's, 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 all, that's all I got. This isn't time for jokes, Walks. You're in trouble because you jumped off the cart, which was a really mm, not a smart idea, man. So are you guys stopping the cart, by the way, to deal with this, see, or are you going to try to keep going? That was my question, because we, if we aren't stopping, me jumping off the cart was the best thing I could possibly do. But yeah, let's not stop the cart. So everyone in charge, he'll, he'll just run and keep up with us. That's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the best idea. We just keep moving it, and... Um... We just keep it as as it goes. I mean, I'm not really sure what else to really say about it, innit? Yep. All right. Yep. Oh. I hope I hope they like spending spending their it's action on dashing to catch up with us. Who is um? Who's driving? My my big beefy beefy man. That's always the question. Yeah, I think my be big beefy man would be driving. All right. My cart, at least, at least my cart. All right. Why don't you roll a one? A roll twenty, uh, just a d twenty for them. They got a ten. I don't know what that means, but they got a ten. Uh, so they're not able to go that as fast as they were bef because it's just there's too much chaos going on. So they're going at about half speed. Okay. So you're starting to lose the other parts of the caravan, but you're still at least moving. Okay, we'll take it. Okay. And we'll Keep just moving. <clears throat> we'll just have you roll for them on your turn. Okay. Okay. Lee walks behind. It's fine. <laughs> he can regrow his limbs. <laughs> well. Since we're being slowed down, I'm gonna slow them down. I am gonna yeah, I would like to attempt to uh Knock this one prone. So, um, go ahead. Athletics. 15. Can it beat that? Oh my god. Is uh Walks? <laughs> no, he can't beat that. He you've knocked him onto his back. He's not prone. Uh then I would like to use my bonus action to do a hungry jaws on him. Okay. Which is with advantage because he's not prone. Just little skittering legs. 17. 17 hits. Okay, he takes seven piercing damage and he has to do a concert. Yeah, he's fine. All right. Okay, so he yeah, so he takes seven piercing damage and is on his back. That is my turn. 
and I am going to uh, keep up, which means he is going to fall behind. Mm, he still has um, an attack of opportunity on you, right? So mm, probably well, no, because I'm not. Well, you, if you're leaving. No, oh, that's I guess that's taking me through. Yeah. I don't know if he has. Yeah, but it's with disadvantage because he's not trying to attack me from being prone. All right, so we'll let uh, 14 and 15. Does 14 hit? Nope, it does not. All right, so. Um, rather than move the cart forward, I'm going to move you guys behind. How fast can you run, by the way? Uh, 30 feet. And I have a climb speed, so uh, navigating through the dunes is no problem. Okay. All right, so you're keeping up, which means Wish is back here with the skitterbug. This little skittering hellbug. And let's see. Uh, okay. Back to the top. Vianney! Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, how ex exactly can you describe, sorry, could I get, I'll just ask what I want to know instead of um, going the long way around. Can I get to here? You'd have to leave the cart. And are they on the cart or f near the cart? Um, exactly. This one has climbed, this one here has climbed up to the cart. Okay. The other two are not on the cart. Um... Oh, if I have a ally within five feet of me, do I have advantage? Yes. Yes. Is that how that you works? You don't have advantage, but you have a sneak attack. I, I do. I, that's all I care about. Yeah. So I'm gonna go protect my, uh, you know, my home girl, <laughs> and try to shiv that thing that's just attacked her with my rapier. So. Uh. Nope. No. Okay. She misses. And that's her movement and her turn. Sorry, marble. There we go. OK, I'm going to say nice, nice try, Vion, and thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to try Guiding Bolt again on this guy. That would be the disadvantage. Uh, you would have hit anyway. Uh, what? Hit. It's with disadvantage. Uh, it doesn't matter. It does Either hit. way. Yeah, either way, I wouldn't have hit. Man, my rules suck today. You tried. I tried. Anything cool else? Enough. All right. Uh, temerity. No. I'm still locked in combat with this one, so... I'm assuming the 18th hit. Yeah, You're muted, Chrissy. Sorry. No worries. Yep. Um, of course. So, yeah, are you going to try to keep up with the cart? I have dog fish. I'll be fine. All right. So this, these guys are... But is it still up? Yeah, he's still up. Okay. So you're back here now. You guys are... Everyone in the cart is... Uh, 40? Yeah. My turn did 12 damage to that bug. Mm hmm Okay. Um, and here comes the hell bug. So, he is going to roll against you. 23. Against me, that hits. Does 14 hit? It does not. All right. So, 12... Damage from him. This guy, he's going to go after... Well, first he has to stand up and use half oh, his yep. movement. 
So he uses half his movement to stand up, and he is going to attack Wish, 21. That um, definitely hits Wish. 12 points of damage. Got it. Six does not. It kind of, it goes bleh, bleh. Now it's going to just try to leave her because she's gross, man. How many points of damage that Wish could take again? 12. Thank you. All right. So he can only go half his movement. So he's here. All uh, right. And does Wish get an attack of opportunity? Is she tries she to leave? She does if that's one of the things she can do. I mean, she's a creature. I don't... Yeah. Then oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. With a 15. That hits. All right, she gets a D8 plus two, seven points of damage. Okay. All right, and this last guy is going to, well, now he's got two of you ladies here, so he's going to attack Marble. 11 does not hit, I'm guessing. Yeah, it doesn't. And then he's going to go after Viami. Which totally doesn't hit. Yep. He just doesn't know what he's doing. He's just <laughs> flashing out right. of there. Yep. Um, and Zill, your turn. All right. So, uh, Temerity, how are you looking? Very bad. Very bad. Don't say that about yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm still looking better than that. Hmm. Which health? Do you <laughs> How much damage are you taking? I was going to heal you, Temerity, but after that, <laughs> you know what? I'll heal you. You can, you can just sit there I'll and heal die. You. I like that. was rude. I'll heal you, though. Okay. Well, then I'm just going to um, cast Toll of the Dead on the creature again. So another wisdom check, please. Giant Bell conjures over the creature's head. Rings. You made it. And do you want me to just proceed? We are at... Uh, oh, Zill, is that your whole turn? Yeah, I'm not moving off this card. <laughs> Ringleader! I... So, first off, there's this one that's right close to us, and I'm like, oh my god, uh, no, I don't do that, because, um, don't do that. you know, uh, urge me flip. The ringleader is a sociopath. Uh, so the ringleader will yep. shoot the one that's in front of um, Viani with the archer that line. Um, uh, dealing two radiant damage, not very nice. Um, and as a first damage, this one is taken. So okay, hmm. well, I'm then going to um, see if I can compound on all of that by shooting it with uh, one of my two innate guiding bolts. So let's hope this works. Boop. Twenty-one to AC. That hits. Good. Boop. Uh, and it counts as a level one. And it's 21 damage. Wow. And just for the sake of it, you can see the next attack made against that target uh, beyond before the end of my next turn has advantage. So, you know, go nuts, guys. Wow. Um, so just as a bit of a thing, um, I didn't really, like, give the diegetic thing of what happens. Uh, you guys have seen uh, the ringleader suddenly start glowing quite brightly, like my starry form, which is what I'm in right now. L literally, like, shines a bit like, um, you know, like a glow globe, you know, one of those little things that, like, have LEDs in them and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and uh, then... Then... You know the 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 ringleader that you like. You know does the thing that it did to the rock, except now it's for a creature. And you're like, oh shit! 
if if the ringleader like turned that on anybody, it, it'll you know there, there wouldn't be much left of that because that's like twenty one damage and that's pretty cool. I'm pretty cool, don't you guys know? Uh, and that's my turn. All right. And let's see, Elden. All right, Wish is gonna. No, I'm gonna shoot first. I'm gonna shoot this guy first, and then we'll see if he's still alive afterwards. Fuck with a one, he certainly is. <laughs> um. Okay, so fuck that up. That's okay. Um. Gonna stay in the cart, but I'm gonna tell Wish to go over there. Ooh, I want her to go over there. No. Wish is going to circle around this guy. She does have 40 movement, so okay. I think she can afford to circle around him and then end up next to Walks. To um, uh, do the help action for the next thing he attacks. Okay. And that's, that's, that's it. That's what I got. All right. Roll for the cart people. All right. Cart people, don't let me down. I believe in you. Oh, 18. All right, so they are able to go um, the full amount forward, which means everybody else. Well, it means um, at this point, it means that uh, these two are going to be moving back, but we can do that on their turn. Wolks. Okay, so this one is like on the oh, this one over here, mm-hmm. is like on the side, right? Like mm-hmm. sitting there. Where is it in in comparison to the wheels of the cart? Like, like are the wheels out here or under here? I assume they're kind of under where she is. Great. Okay, I will move. Um, I'll move over here. And I'm gonna attempt to uh, like shove him down and under so he gets run over by the cart. Okay. So athletics. Uh, I don't know if that counts as advantage. Of the advent of uh, do I have advantage on it because of the guiding bolt or is that because not really an attack attack? Mm, no, this is more like a grapple. So yeah, it's it's a shove. So okay. That's fine. Uh, I do have a body inspiration. Should everything fail, I'm gonna use that body inspiration. Okay. Oof, ten. He's probably gonna okay. beat that. We will see. Yeah, yeah he's he gonna does. beat it. All right. So you uh, try. He kind of skitters away from you. Oh, well, I'm gonna action search and attempt to do it again because why right. I want him to be run, run over by the cart. <laughs> 23, much better. Oh, that's almost definitely... Yeah, and he rolled so well. But nope, nope, he does not... just misses it. He's, like, really fighting, but you get him down? All right, let's see. How much would being run over by a cart damage would that do? Roll for cart damage. Hmm. All right, well, I am going to... We'll have to do that um, actually on Elden's turn. So he's not going to take that damage quite yet. That's fine. Is, but um, at the very least, he's off the car. Actually, and off the we might as well, since otherwise he'll get back on. Let's see. All right, cart damage. So let's see. It's cart with a bunch of people on it. I think it's going to be pretty heavy. <laughs> kind of what I figured. <laughs> All right. Um, roll six d eight. Oh, nice. Uh, um, um, d eight. Six d eight. Roll twenty four damage. Okay. Well, that really hit hurt him. He is still alive, though. <laughs> hey, these are tough buggers. Trademarks. These are tough. Alrighty. Um, anything else for turn. you, Wilkes? No, that is my turn. Okay. Actually, no, no, that is my turn. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Biani. Gonna shank him. All right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. So that is. It's um, just six, right? Um, plus, uh, well, it's a crit. So it would be. Well, I think on the sneak attack, you don't get anything extra. I think yeah, it's the do. nine. No, you, you do. do. Double it's all your dice rolls. Yeah. All dice. Okay. All right. So. Seven, 15, 17, 49, 24. 24. Nice. All right. Nice. Oof. We are mullering the shit out of this one poor bastard. He was like, <laughs> oh, one. I'm going to get help. <laughs> and I'm like, was, fuck you, you're going to get run over by a cat and also <laughs> shot repeatedly. Oh, he is not looking good, guys. He's looking real bad. It's not even oatmeal and we're doing well. <gasps> <laughs> All right. That was my turn. Okay. Uh, Sorry, Marble. Redcon, I'm going to give my other bardic inspiration to uh, Wolks. That's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, Marble. Okay. So I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Temerity. Okay. Oop. You get that. <laughs> hey. And then I'm going to use Cast Sacred Flame on this guy. Okay. Uh, that's probably a disadvantage. Great. <laughs> he has to do a deck save, though. Right? Oh, yeah. it's a deck yeah. save, so it's yeah, not. Yeah, no. This All is right. why it's a get great cantrip. Ooh, how much does he have? Just barely. <laughs> just barely misses. So uh, just oh. barely hits, actually. Now that I'm saying that, I'm wrong. Uh, so five radiant. Yep. And that's my turn. <laughs> At one one hell bug is just being like. <laughs> oh, I mean, he is just one. he's in hell, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to hell, Mister Bug. Welcome yeah. to hell's kitchen. <laughs> As Michael was saying in Twitch chat, says, "Stop killing him. He's already dead." <laughs> Not quite, but now he's got like two of his legs are off. His, his he's kind of like there's like some real wounds in the exoskeleton. It's all cracked, and he's like, you know how bugs are when they're like just trying yeah, yeah. with one leg and still going, like doing the best they can. It's it's sad. Mm. It's gross. Temerity, gross. are you gonna try? Are you staying with this guy, or are you trying to catch up? I'm going to use disengage and catch up. All right. Uh, so I've got 40 feet of movement. Okay. So does that mean I gained 10 on them or? No, because really they had gone ahead. I just hadn't moved you. So, but yeah. it will get you there. Where? Uh, to like here. Oh. You can get there. You can get to the cart, in other words. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Two of the hell bugs seem to disappear as they burrow underground. And let's see. Uh, this hellbug, the only person he can really attack, I think, reasonably, is Wolks. Uh, so he's going to do that a couple of times. Seven won't hit, and eight won't hit. He's having trouble without his legs. So that's been really tough. But he gets, he uh, just sort of gets onto the cart and pulls himself up a little bit. All righty. Um, How? He was run over by the cart, so he would be somewhere over behind it. Yeah, he caught it. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of saying that this is all happening in the span of, like, seconds. You know what okay. I mean? So... Okay, fair enough. Elden hasn't sure. moved forward again. When Elden... Okay. 
uh, moves forward, that's going to be different. All right. So, no Um, and Bill. Sorry. Um, well, um, there's this one left, right? The other one. They're ones all are... left. Well, <laughs> visible. Yes, that one is visible. Uh, how does it look? Does it look cracked and dying, or is it? Oh yes. yeah, it looks bad. It's missing legs. Everybody goes after me though, so they'll probably just beat on it for a while. I'll hold my action to shoot my crossbow at something that comes out of the ground. Okay. All right. Ringleader. Aye. So there's this last poor bastard in front of us. So uh, time to shoot an archer line into it. Does not hit. Sadly. Uh, He's wiggling around. He's barely holding on. Yeah. Uh, and what I'll then do is, um, like, because this is kind of a, you know, like an abstraction or whatever you'd want to say of it, um, I'm going to kind of, like, move down from where I am on the, um, drop down from where I am on the top of the, of the cart or whatever you'd say to, you know, like a lower level on the cart so it's closer to the creature. And I'm going to stab it with my spear. And the spear is, you know, the pseudopods that I've been using as a kind of like, oh, is my other eyes and stuff like that. Yeah, well, it turns mm. out that uh, I can stab people with them. So, uh, all right. Let's see what happens. Nope. 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 Uh, and what I'm seeing, because you're technically off the cart, you're over with Wolks, who is off uh, the cart. Okay. Uh, but I, I can say that you probably would have grabbed on the side and just sort mm. of gone around. The, the, my intention was, was that, like, you know, I'm just on the lower level, because before I was on the top. Or as I said, I was yeah. on the roof, so I'm just on the lower level now. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. that you've kind of gone out of the cart Itself? Area. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Yep, I'm jigging with that. That's me. Okay. And Elden. I am going to start by telling Wish to run up to the cart and hang on tight. So she's going to run up and, I don't know, use whatever mm -hmm. she can to just climb up it. or So the climb all the way. She says, hold on. Uh, so strength. Strength. Oh, you was good at that, Wish, I think. What is your strength, <laughs> Wish? Oh, 14 plus two. Oh, no. She got a five. Yeah, she, um, she has trouble. She's like grabbing onto it, but the piece that she grabs onto kind of comes off in her hand. She's uh -oh. just like, huh. I don't know. Well, just but keep she on didn't running fall. Along. Yeah, she's running. Keep chugging along. She just, she just keep running along. And then I'm going to use Veronica on the bug. The hell, the poor hell bug that's already in hell. Oh, oh, I got a crit. I got yeah, a did. crit. <laughs> All right. I have, I have a witness to my crit. <laughs> Even leaned over. And <laughs> that biased witness. Biased witness. I, I am not biased. I, I am pretty, not like, it's going to be pretty hard for you not to kill him, but I guess we should just roll. I want to, oh, oh, I want to roll my dicey dice. Oh, look at that. Uh, 16 plus 3, 19 points of damage. You can describe it. It's terrible death. Okay. Yay. So, um, it's a very clean shot from Elden. Right <laughs> through, right through the face bits, whatever bugs have for face bits. Um, and then the bug just falls over and the cart just runs the rest of it over. It just goes, oh, it's everywhere. a squish. Lovely. There's like some guts flying out. Yep. So more bug. Oh, Okay, oh, now, it. and this yeah. is going to be fairly important. Um, roll for your guys to drive. Okay, here we go, guys. I believe in you guys. Seven. I believe in you less. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, they are, they've been chugging along, but now it's like they're starting to lose, uh, you know, it's all those, it's all the bug guts, man. It's all get gearing up the works here. So 
they're having some difficulty. They're not able to make it forward very far this turn. So, uh, okay. So, Viani. Nope, Wolks. Sorry. Well, I mean, um, I'm going to go here and then I'm going to like just hang on to the card. I'm not going to crawl on it. I'm just going to be on the side to go with it. Okay. And then I'm going to hold my action in case anything comes within punching range. Okay. Viani is going to uh, put away her rapier, take out her short bowgun, and hold her action. And she sees an enemy, she will fire. Okay. Uh, Marble. All right, real quick. Anyone need healing? Yes or no? Yep. All right. Okay, tomato. Gravity is still looking not really that good. Okay, I'm going to cast Healing Word at level two. Skadoosh. There you go. Eight healing. Cool. And Thank you very much. Do we still have enemies? Not that we can see. We might. Okay. We don't know. I'm going to hold Sacred Flame until I see an enemy. What? I don't think you can. It's an action. It's an attack. It's a, what, what, is, what level is it? It's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Right? So a cantrip can be held and you won't lose it because you, so you, see, you can hold an action, you can hold a spell. If you hold a spell above a cantrip, you lose it if you don't use it that turn. Yeah. So a cantrip, you can just keep like starting yeah. it up over so and over. I'm right. the, okay, so you should just hold it. I'm holding it. Jeez, we <laughs> be so aggressive Getting about all it. up. In my business. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. All right. This is what happens when you have so many people who also DM playing a game together. <laughs> All right. Uh, Temerity. Temerity is going to grab the back of the cart, hang on, and reach to help. Was it Wish? Yes. Oh, yep. Just make sure right. Wish doesn't fall behind. Okay. So now we get to see what happens now that your cart has slowed down at just the worst time um, as your, your people are struggling to get it going straight again and, and keep it upright. Uh, let's see. All of a sudden, you're going to see these two guys. Oh, nope, wrong. Or you won't see them. Now you see them. You should. Uh, pop it up. That's the other one. Where is it? It is, it should pop. You should see it now. Yeah. Yeah. So they are right there. They've sort of gotten themselves together because they, they have advantage. Yes, everybody gets to cast what they just tell me which one you're doing. This will be number one, and this will be number two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. All right. Let's do the decks. For me, uh, number two. Okay. Okay, so the first one, nothing. I tried. Oh, uh, 21? Yep. Yep, 21 hits. So okay. that is Just the 8. 12. I don't think anyone's around oh. it to get the sneak. No, well, Do I mean, are they within 5 feet? They're, yeah, they're... Okay, yeah, add there. that 4, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so... What are you doing? I'll go against number one. Okay. Number one. Nope. Unfortunately, no. Anybody else holding anything? 
I held an action, but it's not within punching a binding range, so I can't get to it. Okay. I don't, I don't even think I could actually attack it with any kind of range because there's a cart between me and it. So two of them are going to go after, well, there's going to be two attacks after Elden and two after Temerity, and they have advantage on everything. So let's see. Come on. How do I make it go advantage? I don't know. All right, uh, 16. Does a 16 hit Elden? Oh, hell yeah, it does. It's a 12? Yeah, you're surrounded. No, 12 does not. Uh, oh, I take 12, 12 damage. damage. Oh, I take, and... oh, that is, oof. I'll hit you next. Oof. 24 uh. damage altogether. Okay, Elden passes out. Yeah, I'll hit you next. Just, just hits the floor. One hundred percent hits the floor. Okay. Um, Does yeah. that mean my the heroism stops? No the concentration. Yes, it does because it's a oh, it is it a concentration spell. I just you know skin it is not concentrate. It is a concentration spell. Okay, right. so this brings us to this guy. Um. Actually, he doesn't get advantage on temerity, unfortunately, but that's all right. Uh, he crits anyway. So that's going to be 24. 24. he's down. And uh, he's going to kind of go up and he's going to move on and go over here. And he's going to move on Zill. Oh, good. 22. That hits. 12 damage. That is most of my health. Okay. All right. Uh, next is... That's all the Hellbugs can do. Um, so my turn? It is your turn. Yes, Zill. All right. So... Seeing how um, I see Temerity fall off the cut fall, and I see, uh, well, you know, the other one fall as well. Um, I will. Where is my thing? I'm looking for my character sheet. Sorry. So That's actually to... a good Clip. point. Temerity, you probably fell off the cart because you were leaning over trying to help up. So when you fell, you probably fell. I won't have you take any damage, but I'm going to say that you kind of... I'll tell you what. Um, roll a d4, and if you get a 4, you can you stayed on the cart. Oh, there you go. So you're yeah. still on the cart. Wonderful. I enough the window or something. Yeah. I will spend a sorcery point here um, and conjuring up... Uh, some strange force I call out and uh, I will do a twin spell and I will heal both Temerity and uh, Elden. So with healing word. If I could just there you go. So it's a D4. Plus my skill casting ability, which is three. Yeah, are you gonna roll it? Yeah, I'm gonna roll it. Hold on. Just making sure my skill casting ability was not like four. It's three. It's four, actually. Yeah. Okay. So four plus four. So Temerity and Elden. At eight. That's good. So eight for Temerity and six for Elden. All right, so you're both up for now. All right. I'm going, that... to, I'm going to grip my arm and be like, I better not regret this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking at Temerity and then looking at the bug that is slicing at me. 
Okay. Uh, ringleader. Right. Ringleader is going to shoot the archer line directly into the cart towards the one that was just assaulting um, Elden. Uh, this guy? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oop. Does not hit. Uh, and then is going to use a guiding bolt the same way, and uh, hopefully uh, another guiding bolt the same way, and hopefully this will work. You bastard! Nope. Son of a <laughs> shit! <laughs> Fucking dice! Sil is totally regretting this right now. Him heal him. You have to kill these things, though, or I will regret it. <laughs> Son of a Labrador. All right, uh, Elden, you All woke right. up. I woke up. I'll use half my movement to get back up, and then I'm going to reach into my pockets, grab what looks like a robot spider, and throw it at Temerity. Uh, it crawls around Temerity, and it finds all the wounds and starts to patch him up so that I can cast Cure Wounds on him. And I think, where's my cure wounds at? I am. You get seven health back from that. Uh, and then is the bug above me on the ground or uh, flying? He's he's right. Like he's kind of clinging on to the cart. Okay, perfect. Good enough for me. Uh, so Wish is going to come over and help me out then. She is going to attack him with her punch, punchy paws with a 15 plus 5 is a 20. Oh, 16 yeah. plus 5 is a 21. I ain't got the math on there. 21. So she gets 4 plus 2, 6 points of damage on that guy. Okay. It's bloodied. All right. That's all I got. All right. And... All right. Ah, ba, ba, ba. Well, me, I guess. Oh, um, are is the cart still going? Uh, is the cart team? Should the cart still going? Do we want to stop? Keep going. Yes, the cart should be kept okay. going. Good enough. Well, well, yeah, within, should. within six seconds was all the answers that I got. I'll take it. Fourteen. Uh, they managed to write it and start it going, and it's it's going to make most of. It's uh, movement. Not quite all of it, but most of it. Sounds so. good. Good job, team. Um, all right. And Wolves. Okay, I am going to go back onto the cart and move over here. And then I would like to do a shove away on this one and, like, basically, like, all right, so how are you getting over people and bugs on this cart? Like, you, well, roll me in just, acrobatics. Okay. Well, I mean, if anything, I can just crawl on the side of the, yeah. And I All have, right. I have enough right. uh, climb, speed, uh, climb speed to be able to do that. Okay. Works for me. Uh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to, like, effectively grab onto him and then just throw him over my head and let, like like throw him off the card to here. Okay. So that's a uh string of uh, it's basically a left it's an consisted as uh consisted the uh, shove thing, but with, I have this advantage. Okay. A, yeah you're not gonna make him no I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Uh, oh, I oh, tried. Uh, um, suddenly, Viani turns oh, yeah, wait, to Wilkes oh, yeah, yeah, and says, I have, I have, oh, yeah, 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 No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 because you were rolling oh. at disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. You rolled a one. Yes. Lucky turns to you and she says, Try that one again. Um, because if you fail an ability check, I have a thing. Um, bountiful luck. Here's a description. Oh, well, you can. Oh, you can give it to me. Okay. And it's an All ability right. check, so you get to yeah. re-roll it. So I guess maybe just re-roll one dice. Yeah, just one. 
Okay. And then you have to use that number. 17. Yeah. This time you do it. You get him up and you're holding him. All right, now just uh, roll me a strength to see how far you manage to toss him. Uh, okay, just straight strength. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's this guy. All right. This guy, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I? Hey, here's a question. Can I add? Uh, uh, can you add biting inspiration to throwing uh, to skill checks? I don't remember. Um, uh, I will do the same. Mm. Yeah, ability check. Ability check yep. there. Yeah, okay. I would like to add the body inspiration to see how a fire from him. Okay, go ahead. Ah, it's a one. <laughs> okay. so. Um, so he's like here. That's um, good enough for me. And uh, I'm going to just I'll check just and see. Oh, but he's like. He lands on his feet like a cat. Oh, he's still off the... Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to do a uh, second wind. Okay. Back up to full health. Alrighty. And that is my turn. Okay. So... Um, Viani. Yes. So Viani, uh, how bad is Elden looking these days? I know he's up and about, but just want to check and see if he looks like one more hit would knock him over. Probably. Honestly, like one of these things like sneezed on me, I probably would tumble over. Okay. Then she's going to move as close as she can get. Could she get um next to him i'm not quite sure how this cart situation i see he's got space by him but would she be able to get over there you can switch spots with me for a minute okay then yeah she's going to cast cure wounds at first level because she can't do more but she'll do all she can <laughs> ignore the sneak obviously <laughs> So nine. I am very no, You attack him as case. you heal him. Yes. <laughs> I, I, smack I take him. two points of damage from you knifing <laughs> me, but you heal me seven, so it's okay. Yeah. Uh so that's her movement and her turn. And yeah, that's that's Vianney done. Marble next. Okay. Yep, Marble, it's your turn. I'm good. Okay, let's so attack, attack. I'm going to what? Attack the things. Don't heal me. I'm good. There's other people to heal. It's not all about you. It is all about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go over here and heal Temerity a little bit with my last spell slot. Okay. There you go, Temerity. Yay. And then I'm going to cast Sacred Flame at this guy. A whole one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I am so useful. Your wounds is a an action. Yes. It's a cantrip, isn't it? Not a cantrip. Oh it's a no. Bonus action. Okay, never mind. Isn't it a bonus action? No, it's a action. Healing word is a bonus action. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just cure Sorry, wounds does cure more. Wounds, yes. That's why I cast that. Never mind then. No. I forgot. I That's okay. Yeah. That's it for me. No problem. All right, temerity. You've been very generously healed. Yeah. Uh, Serenity's going to take flight again mm -hmm. and go around to the front of the cart and try to take over driving to try to keep it straight because Timothy has front vehicles proficiency. Okay. Great. Um, yeah, I'll say that you can do that. And um, roll me, roll me a vehicle check. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, at, at the very beginning, it's like difficult because you're like shoving these other people the heck out of the way. And they're like, no, what are you doing? We were told to do this. And you're like, no, stop it. And then you get it. And then it's, you're pretty good. Okay. So now it is the help ups turn. All right. Okay. So this one is still here and he actually, I'm going to have this one kind of come back up. He's going to run. And he's going to jump up here. Um, because he wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. So yeah. does Wish get an attack of opportunity? No, no, Wish is not going to get an attack of opportunity. I take it back. Okay. All right. So uh, he is going to attack. Oh, let's see. Throw him off. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know that he that he likes that about you. He's gonna attack Marble. Okay, so why? <laughs> Nineteen, twelve, damage. Twelve, and twenty-four is also gonna hit. So you get twenty-four damage. And... I have one damage. Oh no, I got you. <laughs> I I have one health. I got you. I got you. Oh, thank shit. you. Oh, you can. You. This guy. Ooh, let's see. Who will he go for? It's going to be either Wolks or Elden. It's going to be Elden. Okay. Uh, which is going to defend me? So I. It's going to be with disadvantage. Okay. So ten uh, does not hit. Okay. Now he's going to try again. Oh, well, 17. No, the second one, yeah, 17 is definitely going to hit, but the first one doesn't. All right, so 12 oh. damage to you. Okay, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still good, still good. Okay, um, that's all the hellbugs can do. Zill, you've got a hellbug chomping on marble next to you. Um, well, 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 well. Yep, I don't have a whole lot, so we're just going to go with Told the Dead. Okay, which one? Um, the the one next? that's in front of me. Okay. All right, and that's a... DC 14 wisdom. Does not make it. He takes a D12 radiant, or necrotic damage. Nine. All right, he is definitely bloodied. Cool. Um, Yeah. That's my turn. Okay. And let's see. Ringleader. I so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to kind of like crawl over to here and as my action I'm going to get I'm going to stuff a good berry down uh, Marbles' his throat and probably choke her. But she'll be okay because it's magic. One HP. Yes, choke me. <laughs> yep. Choke one hit point. <laughs> you, you, love you get, that feels so good. <laughs> you get one hit point. Choke me like hate me. You got but one you hit point me. and you are considered you are considered to have reached I guess about half, because of the desert, about half of your daily dose of nourishment uh, nutrition and stuff like that and also of I course your kink has been completely point. satisfied so you're all right mm. there you go yeah, i got one whole point you got one whole point i got two. I feel slightly better but i'm full i got two now i got <laughs> I, I, I have eight good awesome. berries to give for i am a Yay. river to my people but couldn't you just like give all of them and shove all of them in her mouth it is what as an action that? it is as an action you eat one berry Oh. Mm. Yeah. Sadly, its That's utility true. its utility is out of combat. But That's a weird uh, way to eat, eat berries. Mm. I agree. Also, it's eight hit points. It's like a, a cure wounds or something. Yeah. Um, That's silly. Well, technically, it's ten. So it is like ten hit points. So Yeah, it's still, not... it's still like... It doesn't scale. 
Yeah. Carrying on, I'm anyway, moving over to here. I'm going to and... homebrew that shit in my gate. Oh, that's like an opportunity then. Is it? Yep. From whom? Yeah, from the bug. This guy. Oh, bug. Did he... Uh, this guy. Oh, you left his... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, I, I apologize. I didn't... Yeah, um... you could have gone to Marble from where she was. No, no, no. I am at Marble. Oh, sorry. Um, my my um, table is a bit older because I didn't know that that guy had moved down there. Your one is showing a different thing. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, from where I am right now, there's not much I can really do, um, except uh, do this. 19. That hits. All right. You, you already use an action. Uh, yes, I did. I apologize. That yep. does yep. not count. You still have your bonus action to uh, do the... It is a ranged attack. This one yeah, farther check away. This, check uh, this one. Is that guy? Is that guy in melee? He is. Okay, so this will be with disadvantage, just to be clear. Okay. Uh, boop. Nine. Does not hit. There we go. Sadly, worth rolling. That is my that is my turn. Nine. Um, mm -hmm. you know. That's fine. All right, Elden. All right, Wish and I are going to beat the shit out of this one bug right here. Choke it. Okay. And choke it. Oh, I can have Wish move over first. Can't I? And that would us... take her off of the... Um, is she on the... No, she's never been on the cart. She's always oh, okay. been kind of running along the cart, hitting okay. this guy. So... Yeah, this will give us both advantage. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to start with... Um, with Wish, with a good old punchy punch. With advantage, she got a 15. Yep. That'll right. do it. So she does 8 plus 2. Oh, 3 damage. That's it. That's all you get. No. 3 damage. Okay. That takes us to Elden with Veronica. And I don't get disadvantage because Gunner feet. Yep. So with a 18. Yep. And I do... Uh, oh, nice. 10 plus 3, 13 damage. Okay. And then I am actually, well, yeah, no, she's got enough room. She's got enough space. She's going to run. She's going to move back so she can keep defending me. Okay. And then my, my dudes, my dudes are going to keep, keep pushing along. Well, no. Uh, no, they're, they're, they're not. not. They're not in control in the car anymore. That's true. Everything right. took over. Which means they could theoretically try to. I don't know if you've had a chance to even look at how they work. Oh, really? Can they just do they have bows, crossbows, and jump out and just like. I don't think they are. They're like punchies, I believe. Punchies? Can they jump out and punch these guys? Um, roll me a dex. Do you want them to stay on the cart? Um. Who's is everyone on the cart? Everyone's holding on the cart except for Wish everyone. at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah, Wish is just running along. Um I feel like the cart is kind of full. So and if they gotta punch things, they gotta punch things. How many do I have? Can they split up or are they all together? They're like a uh, mob. You have three. Okay. And for the sake of right now, I'm going to say that they um, have a plus three to hit, okay. only because yeah, uh, they actually work very differently. But yeah. I'm going to yeah. let you. That makes sense. But they so they do they have to go together? Just be like a gang together, one yeah one entity. Okay, one entity with a plus three to hit. Yeah. Okay, then they're going to jump out off the cart and attack. This bug. Okay. So punch, punch, punch that bug. With a 17 plus 3 is a 20. That'll hit. Okay, and I get what for a die? Hit die. Um, give him a, a 3d4. 3d4. That's a good amount. Okay. Because I'm assuming they just... They just do, they're just yeah. unarmed, unarmed strike or whatever. Yeah. 3d4 is worth a punchy punchies. They get two, 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 and two. Six points of damage. Right. 
Hey. And my bullies are out there. A pool bug. I'm gonna can, I'm, I'm gonna stick blue there, but blue is not actually there. All right. Those are my boys. Blue yeah. are my boys for now. Boy. Tell your boys to stay where they belong. Don't be <laughs> Tossing out your boys all over the place, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. And the wolks. Okay, well, you can uh yeah. Um Okay, so you can move through allies normally, but can I drag an enemy through allies as well? That seems a little harder. That would be, I would need to see some kind of like athletics um, okay. or acrobatics because this is a moving cart. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Uh, I am gonna just take the attack of opportunity from this guy. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna jump off the card and move up so I'm here. Okay. He's right next to the wheels, effectively. So I'm gonna attempt to grapple him. Yeah, the guy doesn't get a hit. All right, yep, go ahead. I'm gonna attempt to grapple him. Uh, okay. Probably, he's probably gonna make it, sadly. All right. Yeah, yep. he makes it. Okay, well, uh, that's my turn. Okay. Back to the top, Biani. Yeah, she's gonna use her short... Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep up with the card, obviously. Yep. Right, she's gonna take out her short bow, and she is going to aim at the one that's surrounded right now. Yep. Okay. Yep, 22. That'll hit. So that's 10 points of damage. And I don't know. She's... Not looking good, this guy. Yeah, I guess. Um, are, where is she relative to like the cart itself? Is she securely on the cart? Is she on an edge of it? Um, Maybe we should draw a square. You are a, you are on the edge of the cart. Uh huh. Um, but you're secure. You're not okay. like dangling off. She will move. Oh, that's not. She won't have to be able to use her short for that. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. She's gonna stay. Okay. That's it. I'm done. All right. Marble. Ah, there we go. Okay. Do, do, do. Um, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on this guy. Okay. Ooh, Ooh much better roll. Don't change yeah. it. Come on, twos. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Oh, woo. So seven. This guy? I forget. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then she's going to say, can someone heal me, please? I'm all out of spells that okay. aren't sacred flame. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I should have done that last round. I got all excited about shooting. I'll get you for it's sure. It's okay. I forgive you. If you, if you can, if you can like inspire me to do better, that would be real nice, Vianney. Like, yeah. do a little dance to make me inspired, make that'd be great. Yeah, I'm a lot of, ins I'm sorry. I gave it all to Wilkes. That was a terrible <laughs> mistake. He just jumps off the cart. <laughs> <laughs> stay on the cart. Just stay on the cart. Uh, that is, that is, okay. Well, I'm not going to say anything. Like, what's about me, me jumping off the cart? It's been a good Could have been long gone by now. But you had to okay. jump off the cart. We argue with him about it the whole time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking jump off the cart. Temerity, I need a um uh cart driving thingy. Yeah, you're able to get you're making good time now. You've got the reins, you're good. All right. And the hellbugs get to go. So um They're all going to go at Elden because they're pack tactics. Uh, okay, then, first one's with disadvantage because because well, wish. the first one is straight because he would otherwise have advantage. There we go. So. Oh no, I hate that. Twelve does, does not, not hit. hit me. No. Okay. 
So Nine that's second one, 20. Oh, no. Oh, no. That okay. is 12. Yeah, you might as well kill me, honestly. I'm down. Again? Again. I have no more spells. Someone shove a something down my mouth. Choke me. All right. Oh, Choke. my God. So since he... um. Since he got you down, he is... No, those were both of his bites. Okay, so he can't go again. Um, So now... I will... D for this guy. See who he goes after. Uh, He's actually going after you, ringleader. Nobody's given you any love yet. 17 so 17 hit the uh, that's for me yes uh yeah it does that is 12 and uh this one's going after zill okay 17 again it is and that is 12 points i'm down Okay, that's what they got. All righty. Uh, Zill, make me a. Yep, Ooh. okay. Um, which brings us to Ringleader. Right, Ringleader is, um, choke me. Say please. <laughs> Pretty please. Please what? Pretty please choke me. All right, I'm using one of my good berries. Looks like... We have three people down. I, I've, I've only got one fucking action. Spread Don't choke below. her. No, no, no. I'm down. Shit. Ah, fuck you. Christ. Okay, so yeah, I, I've only got one action, and I think giving it to Marble would actually be probably best. So I'm gonna pop it to Marble. Do you like... can if you had like. Ooh. Did you I don't already... have any more spell slots? Just so you know. Th- this... You produced all ten. I'll yes. let you give. Spread it the out. Whole... Spread I'll let you give however many um, good berries you want to give to her. Mm. Choke all of us. <laughs> so this is this is the kind of thing this is this is the kind of thing that I'm thinking about. Yeah. Um please give some to Eldon. <laughs> before he does his shit. <laughs> I still all have right. a cure wounds. You still got a cure wounds. One. All right. In and that so case, what the people I'll up who are well, down. Well, but that's meta. What I'll do. So is... what would your character do? Stop. What I'll do is I'm gonna move. What 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 the ringleader would do is is gonna move over to here, and is going to um, force feed Elden as many of the um, as many of the good berries as uh, they can, which happens to be uh, eight. eight. So eight hit points you regain, Elden. Congrats. Um, you feel very, very full <laughs> for the for the sake of for the sake of the for the sake of the diagenesis. Um, I decide to dissolve the good berries, which happen to actually be just like small, highly vitalized segments of myself. Anyway, that I then just kind of meld together into that in that weird black hole thing that I have, and then just vomit it directly into your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Just like Mama used to do. Um, it tastes, Elton. It tastes fruity. You come to with one? like this, this like very fruity aftertaste in your mouth. Okay. Did I choke though? Yes. A little bit. You know? Okay. Good enough. <laughs> I, I I want it to be clear that um, while I did receive consent, while you know marbles did ask very nicely. Whether it to be choked, um, mm-hmm. Elden did not, and as a result, uh, you will pay for that soon. Mm. Such he will... did ask to be choked, though. Yeah, he didn't say please. 
Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't, you know, look, I, I want, I want, I want politeness. You gotta ask for it? these things politely. So, yeah, you gotta ask for these things politely. You can't just demand be choke. For for my last action, I believe I can still use the archer line, like yeah. even though I'm still thinged, so I'm just shooting in point blank range at this planet what is uh being surrounded by all these guys so boop 13 no 11 11 yeah you're in five minutes five, five feet, feet so yeah all right then so 11 it wouldn't matter anyway neither of them hit. Mm. Okay. okay that that is me well then you're choking on fruity goo how many how many fruity goos did I choke on by the way? Eight. Like you hate me. Eight. That's what I thought. Okay, I making sure. It. All right. Uh let's see. <laughs> I am going to sorry, Walx, you're on your own. Um gonna scoop past uh marble and over to Zill. Uh sorry, that will give you an attack of opportunity. Oh fudge. Oh. That is rough. Okay. How's the how's the how's the bug looking? He is looking real bad. So. Okay. Wish, do your thing first. Kick his ass. Does she have advantage because the boys are next to him? I would say yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh 21, which I'm sure hits. Yep. So she gets eight plus two nine points of damage. <laughs> okay. Oh no! I don't think like one out. Fudge. All right. Fudge. Okay, I still. Um, you know, you Azil is down too. I know. That's what I'm trying to help him out. But... Okay. Yeah. I thought you. You know what? That's first. fine. That's fine. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest a biscuit. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. All right. Take the attack of opportunity, but Wish is gonna help me out. So it's with disadvantage. It's with disadvantage. Well, <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Good enough. Yay. All right. And now I'm gonna grab my last spider thing and shove it onto onto uh less ceremoniously that I've been helping him around, just like put it on his face, just like spider on your face. Um, and it's gonna run around and heal up his wounds, giving you um whatever cure wounds is. Where's my cure wounds? There you are. No, no, no. Bam, whole eight points of healing. So you're back up. Zill is going to open his eyes as he sees a spider crawling across his face and go. <laughs> and uh, immediately, if he can, try to grab it. <laughs> uh, roll Dex. Okay. Actually, roll swipe, sleight of hand. What am I talking about? Yeah, you grab it. I'm holding on to this. <laughs> okay. All right. That was Elden. Anything else, Elden? Your guys can probably go, right? Oh, yeah, my guys can go. Come on, guys. And Did they, they have did advantage win. because of Wish? All yeah. right. And they got a plus three, so they get a 20. That'll hit. And you said 3d4s. Yeah, there's there. You could describe their terrible death. All right. It's so once death. once Elden walks away, um, uh, Wish points out all the all the good places to squish this this big old bug with. And then my three my three boys kick a pose, show off their big old muscles, and just pound it to the ground like Cranberries? Know. Like cranberries. Yeah. Just, it is mm -hmm. just they they pull up their fists and their fists are covered with this like rancid goo. It's like, ugh. Just bits of like they're they've even bloodied their knuckles a little bit against its hard exoskeleton, just smashing it down. And it is, it just falls away from the cart. Nice. And it's gone. Phew. Yeah, and then yeah, we're just gonna keep keep on running, and so are my boys. Okay. All right. So that brings us to Wolks. Oh, I am gonna go around so that uh, so that I'm here, and 
I'm going to turn to Gravel that guy. Okay. 23. I don't think you can. Nope. Great. And then I um, I can now move. I still have 10 feet left, but it's half movement because I'm have him dragging him. So mm -hmm. I can move mm -hmm. uh, down here. Where? Uh, here. And then okay. I'll he will go here. Okay. I'm, I'm, like, dragging him there. Poor Zill. The the thing that just nearly killed you is now being dragged over your prone body. Yeah. Don't care. Um <laughs> and I am I am gonna hold him. I'm effectively gonna because I can still move him. So I don't know if this is count as an action because technically all we used it. Like I'm effectively gonna move him over and then like force him up against the wheel as I'm <laughs> coming down on the other side. I think that that would be okay. Uh, that's fair. Well, I'm hold. I'm I'm holding on to him here. So you're ready to go and shoving him in. Yes. All right. Um... I'm I'm pressing him up against the um, the I'm ready to like just <laughs> shove him into the spokes of the um of the wheel. Okay, Biani. Yep, Vianney's going to look at her friend and say, I'm sorry I didn't do this sonar, and cast Cure Wounds. Ooh, 10, that's nice. And, uh, Ooh, max healing. Ooh, she's lucky tonight. Um, and I think that's, she's kind of her action, she's not close enough to really do anything with a bonus action, so she's not going to move either. Yeah, no, she's just going to stay where she is, and that's going to end her turn. Okay. And Marble, you've got some healing now. I do. And there's ah. no skittering hellbug next to you anyway, so. Good to see. Okay, I'm going to cast another Sacred Flame on it. Okay. Oop. It does not make Ouch. it hold two. It's Ooh. it's hard to move when you're being grappled. <laughs> yep, that's me. Okay. Thank you for the healing. <laughs> uh, Temerity, give us a drive. I got you, sis. A super dope. That, that is a level. Of... Oh gosh, it it just there's a little bip. And you didn't see it, like it, it was just out of the corner of your eye, and it scooped the wheel and bounces it. It's just, you're going to be, uh, it's going to take you until next turn to sort of write things and get going again. Okay. She gives this to the Hellbug, who can only really attack Wolks. Well, you can try and get out. Boom! Ha ha! Now he's going to attack you. 24. Well, I'm still alive. I have one hit point left. All right. See if he can do you in. No, I don't think so. 12. Uh, no, no, that does not hit. Ah, all right. Still. Um, how does this little critter look? Not great. He's definitely mm. bloodied. Can I have my spider bag, Zell? You don't even know I have the spider. Yes, I do. I saw you take it. No, you didn't. Did you? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. It's, like it's my perception. spider. Yeah. I'm going to slide a hand check. You go ahead and roll your perception <laughs> check. Yeah. You need to do a can perception. Can I roll a perception check to see if he you stole can. my spider? Okay. <laughs> I, hope you I want to be angry about this. Oh, okay. I rolled a 16 and my perception is... Four twenty. Leave the drow you saw spider. Him. Huh? I saw it. Yes. You did. You didn't notice it. Just you just noticed it. Good. Just I have you. give me back my spider. I'm not giving you back the spider. I, <laughs> I slam the my dagger into this creature as much as I can because I don't know that well actually no it told the dead doesn't have a range. Okay, I'll just do told the dead. With okay. say. Yeah, because he's down on the ground and you're up on the card. Yeah. Nope, right. he doesn't make it. So he takes eleven necrotic. 
Okay. A loud ringing tone rings out, and its exoskeleton cracks slightly. What's funny is that the description of that spell technically just says, doesn't actually say how loud or what kind of tone the bell is. It could be a little kind of ding. Well, this one is a giant. I've chosen. I know, that. but like, it's still funny that that's a possibility. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm really surprised this bell hasn't attracted more of these creatures. Yeah, really surprising. <laughs> that's what I hope happened. Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, if that's what you hope happens. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Ringleader. Ringleader. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I was waiting for the call for my name. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've used up that lot. Um, I'm then going to summon more Goodberries. Because as I said, I am a I am a fucking river to my people. Um, there's that. Boop. And with my bonus action, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the shoot shoot the shoot the bug. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Does not hit. Uh, it was a very weird angle, to be honest. So. Yeah, it needed to actually curve technically. Yeah. That would like, have been like mm. that, and then that, and then where is it? Well, it's also that it's down, like mm. on the ground, and you're up on the card. Yeah. yeah. In any case, uh, that is that is me. All right, Elden. Doop doop doop. We're gonna shoot all the things, probably. Yeah, let's shoot this asshole. Okay. I'm just gonna hold it up to you. <laughs> yeah, hold it up to him. If I miss, you'll Point be fine. Blade. You can regrow your eye, I'm sure. Mm. Oh, damn it! I got a 19. It's so close to a crit. That'll hit. It's so bad. I know. Don't say it's damn a crit it for me. Good. It's a crit for you. Uh, three plus three, six points of damage. Okay. Still not down, still not down. What a jerk. What an asshole. All right. Get on over here, Wish. Wish is going to walk her right over next to Zill and try to punch this thing. Come on, Wish. Nine plus five, 14. Um, all right. I'm going to let it happen just because I haven't been too careful about it. Technically, <laughs> this is a very weird angle for her, but I'll let her. I'll say that she punches right through a window. All right, <laughs> good. So right through the window comes seven points of damage. It's better our not hand be my odds through. cart. No, it's my probably my cart, honestly. Oh, well, you can break your own cart. Okay, just not my odds. All right, is that everything? That's all I got. Okay. Um. Wolks. Well, oh, first he yeah. takes uh, 1d4 bludgeoning damage for being grappled by me. So he takes one damage. Okay. And then I am going to move here, still holding on to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to shove him into the wheel. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Describe his death. Just, Just... <laughs> I like tell me how he I smack as, as my turn starts. The, the one damage is for me to smack him into the side of the card. Then I move around and I just like I hold on to him and just basically stick his head in between the spokes and it just gets like smashed to bits. Oh, yeah. You, um, all this guts just comes flap, 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 flap. It's like the bicycle where you put the like, yeah, exactly. Thing that they, <laughs> the card in the yes. middle, it goes, blah, 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 and it's all like over you, and you're just standing there going, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of cool. <laughs> and yes, Volk's definitely licks, licks his face, <laughs> the goob off his face. Okay, so these are all dead. You have been, okay, uh, 
so this is what is happening. You are kind of behind the rest of your caravan. Um, going back, kind of, but they'll, if you can get a little bit closer to them, and I'm assuming that Temerity will be able to do that. Uh, they I will can slow down also a bit. do a um, message. Yep. Okay, so between all that, you can get them to slow down a bit, let you catch up. Um, it's not that big of a deal. So once you've gotten that much together, right? It is halfway through the night. If you stop and start your complete rest, you will have lost um, a half a night's worth of travel. Plus, you will need to have um, to take some extra water. But if you attempt at this point to just do a uh, to do like a, a a short rest, you're not going to have. I'm going to take away some of your some of a lot of your people's um, hit dice because of just it's the exhaustion. Basically, anybody who hits zero can take a hit dice away. And you will get them back after a long rest. And the reason I'm doing that is, is it's, I don't like just using the exhaustion. If that makes sense, like, yeah, mm -hmm. exhaustion. It just, it, it seems like this is a sort of thing, like you've been in a pressure cooker all day. Actually, marble, you won't have to, because you've got so many good berries. <laughs> <laughs> So you're just like living off of good berries. Well, same, same with Elden. Yeah, I had like same eight shoved down my throat. Yeah, he's sitting here looking no, at me. No, you had going, ten. What are you getting? She had eight. You had ten. If if we're gonna go with that kind of thing because of the good berries and everything, mm -hmm. it'll be everyone except for Zill, who is kind of okay because Temerity got one earlier in the day. Then... But that was well before this, so Temerity... Oh, okay, so it's uh, to outside the time. Okay, that's fair enough. And he only got the one, so... Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, Biani... I suggest we do a long rest. Okay, Biani is, um, pipes up and says, so can we do a little bit of a health check here? Because we already have another ten good berries. So, yeah. I didn't take a hit. I'm okay. Um, how are other people in terms of, like, where they are health-wise? I'm a poke away from dying. Okay. I think everyone's a poke away from dying at this point. I have 12 hit points. Okay. Like, One. besides two people, we're all going to die. Well, um, um, as a thing, which is just going to be a bit of a thing, I can use Goodberry multiple times. And as I did, I used it during the fight. I have two more spell slots to use, which technically turns it into 30 hit points. Um, I would like to turn. I would like to keep going. I don't want to stop because. Getting... Yeah, I don't think I, I'm hoping the likelihood of us getting bumped into another thing is slow. Mm -hmm. Also, most then... of us who are doing range spells. I mean, the Toll of the Dead is a cantrip. Uh, Sacred Flame is a cantrip. Mm -hmm. So, if we can get another. 30 hit points distributed to those in need and I don't need any so count me out yeah um one thing to keep in mind though is once that's done that's done I don't have any more healing to give and we've blown through the healing already so it's do we like... have any healing healing potions where's your where's your grandma yeah we need yeah need my aunt your we aunt. really should have went shopping better we were only offered so like around? half a dozen times yeah she's around she came with us can she make potions? Does she have potions? We can go see. She said something okay. about 20% off. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe we walk to her car, yeah. chat with her about getting... I don't... like. How much How much time do we have before we no. can take an actual rest? Well, we've got oh, half... Four. Assuming that it... Assuming that we... It's halfway through the night, like Chrissy said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got like four hours. Four and hours. Do we think we're going to in trouble in four hours? I mean, probably. 
but, but no. other ones of us can take the step up. Like I can step up to the front. Yeah. I mean, I'm a melee attacker, and yeah, I don't I have no more spell slots. Yeah. So we just need to change up who's on the front line. I mean, I can, I can, I mean, I get some of the good. I don't even really need some of the good players. Like if I just say that one of the hours I spend taking a short rest, I can get back up to pr like, like pretty good. Hmm. And I should be. So let's good. get, let's get. Who else benefits from a short Waltz. rest? Yeah, let's get the people Waltz and Temerity. Right, you all, you all need all, a short all my, rest. All my Temerity's stuff, almost all my... back up at full because I know, but you unloaded the healing. Up but you do, you do, you get things back from a short rest. Is what I meant. That's the why. If I'd spent any key points, I would agree with you. Yeah, but you haven't. Okay, uh, Zill, how are you feeling, man? I feel like shit. Do you need a long amount of time to rest, or will you be okay with a short amount? And some bears. I'll be okay sitting here. So it sounds like the consensus okay, is forming. That's not answer the question. You did not answer the question. Either way, I'm not moving from the spot, so. Okay. We're moving. Like, the card is moving. Yeah, exactly. And you're so on the speaking, you're moving. Exactly. So. Okay, I say we let Zill. Me, Wolks? No, yes. Maybe. Maybe Marvel. See, if I get more healing, I can still fight because I still have my cantrip, but I can't heal anybody. So okay, so let's let's let the so. Uh, can we leave Temerity, Bossman, and Viani in charge of driving things, and my um and my goons? In charge of driving things. Yeah. And do a short rest. While we drive, like let yes. the other let let the let the the three of us Keep let moving. uh cat right. and uh Zill right. and I and Walt give rest and give Sil some of the berries so he doesn't um we have so he doesn't water, lose yes so he doesn't lose their um he doesn't lose the hit dice. Yeah. Okay. So there are. 30 to go around? Yeah. I mean I don't need them. If I if I can get a little rest, I'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Same here. So Zil, let, okay. let's give Zil some, but let's save a whole set of good berries for later. Okay, Just well I've got an like I've got ten, you know, and they're not like they've got to be used all in one go. We've got twenty four hours to use them. Yeah. Like an hour we want, you know? No bother. Yeah. Ugh, of course okay. it's a fucking one. Yeah. So Zell or <laughs> Zell works in what? Uh, Mark. What? No. Wow, Fuck that's all. Hilarious. That's really? hilarious. Fuck all. Is that really? it programmed? No, nice. it, I hope so. No, it's it's because their little atom thing means that it's taken from quantum data. So uh -huh. it's, that is just sheer bad luck. Quantum mechanics hates you. <laughs> yeah. The the fundamental forces of physics don't don't like me. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Okay. So yeah, Wilkes, Marvel, me, and Zill are gonna take a short rest. Okay, we're driving the carts, and, and then everyone else can drive the cart. Okay. Managing the nonsense. Who would like? Uh, who's having the good berries, and how many? Zill, give Zill. Zill. I mean, do I get? Your, at least you can have up to I ten, would... dude. Give me four. Give me four. Four. You go. So there you go. Just gonna leave. Alright, I'm at four. Okay. I'm. I'm I wouldn't mind left. having some because nice. that was my the rolls for complete shit. You got six to take up to, man. Go on. Well, uh, give me freedom. All three has gone gone to you. I'll take the last three because I got a bit of healing. I got a bit of health um, I could do with getting rid yeah. of. But cool. There we are. We're all good now. Okay, so you start out again. Uh, Viani, I don't think you've rolled a d6 yet. Uh, why am I rolling a d6? I'm gonna just see what happens. happens. Oh, okay, okay, I'm rolling a d6. Let's let nothing happen. <laughs> Fuck. Brilliant. You don't know what a one means. That was what we rolled before. Roll a d20. Okay. Uh, I'll just do it here. D20 coming up. Ten. 
Okay. Uh, all right. So you see ahead of you as you're walking, uh, would be Viani would have because Viani's background, you recognize ahead of you as you're walking up that what you are seeing is some kind of airship that is crashed. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, I will point it out. Sorry. It looks like it's crashed quite a while ago. Mm. So there's a uh, roll of perception. Yeah, coming up. Or whoever is there I'll, to look. I'll I'm pretty. You. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the help. Because it is still dark for those. So, 17. Okay. I mean, um, you could say dusk 30 to take a look since he's able to fly over and use his dark vision. Well, uh, this is just my initial perceptions, like what I see when I first land my eyes on it. Good point. I also and I just happen to be next to her and, and she's like, wait, hold that thing and I look. Okay. All right, so you do see movement. You can't tell exactly what it is. Ooh, temerity. Yeah. Uh, I point out to... Don't oh, know. it is. Wow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, wait, it's kicking back up. It's now back to the green. Is it shut down oh. or is it buffering? Oh, it's back. Okay, yeah, maybe just my internet dropped. I don't know, that I, my signal didn't drop. I heard you guys the whole time, but hey, we're back. Oh. Is it back? Wow. I don't know. Who knows? Video. We'll find out. There yeah. it is. I think. Either way. Yeah, but you have a good point. Let's go. Let's get in there. Let's murder some things. No, that's a terrible idea. Don't listen to me. No. We're going. Ignore it. No, we're going. But there's shiny things in there, Wolks. They're shinies. So. Let's go. There's also monstrosities of some sort. You don't. I was trying there's to no reason to fight something unnecessarily. What if, what if there are supplies in there that will help us with our survival? Hmm. Good hmm. Point. Have you seen the age of the, that ship? No, I'm too far away. I also can't see in the dark very well. I don't care. So no, it looks I have like no it's idea. been there a while. Yeah. Anything, understand. anything, any useful supplies have been all in mid taken, or eaten, or gone bad. Well, that's quite presumptuous of you. Well, you know, um, gold doesn't go moldy. You also can't yeah. eat it. Or gold leader it. likes the gold though, because that's how we get, you know, a safe and happy future together. Yeah. Yes. You also, but you, but right now, what we need is food and water, and you can't. Hey, you can I... get food and water. Should we, we put it to a vote? Plenty of food and water. Oh yeah, we'll just go buy buy some food and water yeah. in the but, fucking oh, yeah. desert. Ringleader's gonna the... speak up, and uh, you know, kind of say, <clears throat> <clears throat> what does the gun? <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, can I ask the GM to help me? I've forgotten the name of our guide. Tajid. Majid. Tajid. With a Tajid. T. Tajid. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut across everybody what people are talking back and forth and everything, and I just let out a loud Tajid! I need you. I hope that didn't carry. Uh, after a minute or two, um, he appears kind of quietly beside you and says, Don't yell like that, please. And 
Tajid, I need your help. There's a yeah. there's an airship over there, and like I point with a pseudopod out there, and it's got things in it, and it's got baddies in it, and I want to stay on target, but I want shiny things. So what do we do? I will not go in there with you. I know, but you may go in if you wish. That sounds have, like permission to go in there. Have you encountered? Have you passed by this ship airship before? Yes. As long as you don't go in there, nothing has ever come out at us before. Then we'll avoid going in there. Uh, Vianney will pipe up. Temerity, can you describe? what it is you saw on the ground and maybe our guide will recognize what it is? You didn't really get a very good look. I didn't get a good enough look to okay. give a useful description. All right. Uh, uh, Wish can go in there, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wish, why not? Look, we've already lost some time tonight. I don't think we want to lose more. So But we might like we might gain things that like what if there's things. useful supplies that we might need? I, I don't know. Together. Should we This should we is put the very beginning? Vote? It's not like it's not like we're it's not like we're are we starving yet? Are we hungry yet? Like I've had like a lot of breed at night and I'm fine. <laughs> If you, if we're going to do this, we need to put it to a vote, like Viani keeps saying. I want to go. I also want to go. Do you want to leave? I the no, ship? I want to go to the ship. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't leave. Want to go okay. To the ship. Leave or ship. Leave ship. or ship. Those are our votes. Ship. Leave. Can we write them down on a piece of paper and put them in the vote? I don't want to put them in the, in the chat so that we so that it doesn't, you know, oh, get yeah. lost. That's really okay. what I'm saying. We should write our votes in the chat. Ship. We should write our votes down, everybody, so that we don't lose track. We're going to get outvoted. <laughs> yes. Or not. Just going to. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dangerous shit. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, that's why we're here. Two tanks that say that's not the mystery. Um, <laughs> the tank can, is just so, like, no. Everyone, it, yes. It is a little, getting a little late. Um, yeah. I don't think another battle is, sir. Uh, oh, no. No, but uh, decide. Can we, can we, we, before we end things, could we decide on whether we want to go into it before a long rest or after a long rest? I think it would have to be, be I think it would have to be before like Long we go rest. into it now basically we go into yeah. it now otherwise, yeah. we pass, we otherwise pass. there's no mm -hmm. point otherwise there's no point because otherwise we would just be waiting here perfect yeah. okay, let's thing. do it uh, but here is actually a on. question here is a question that i got for chrissy yeah mm -hmm. um okay. we had combat followers you know like um the uh, ring uh, the knife thrower the knife thrower and this uh, we had this, and we had um, we have our followers, Kalo and Enkila, and the different the different followers. Yeah, are mm -hmm. they about or are they with the other crew? They're they're with the other crew, but you could call them over. You could get them. Okay. Um, and how I say it is that you can have two people with you. Okay. It's just. Beyond two people, it becomes very difficult to just keep Chef. everything going. Yeah. But, um, and, you know, from a story point of view, you need people there to watch your shit mm -hmm. if you're going to go play, you know, in a mm -hmm. ship. So, 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 well, the, the, with that in mind, that can help take some of the pressure off of us because we're tired. We can bring the followers in in order mm -hmm. to help assist us with stuff because now we're not you know six people who are kind of beat up we're eight people who are kind of beat up yeah and we can take um we can discuss who the followers to come with if there's cap to two we can have mm -hmm. that discussion in discord yeah and then have that decision ready for next week or next time yeah okay well uh is that everything then did we ask Aunt Whimsy if she has some healing potions? Oh, yes. I think we're ready now. 
I think we're perfect. ready to go. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Aunt Mimsy, does she have any healing potions? Does she? Mm. Mm. Roll for healing Roll potions. Roll a d4. Okay. She has a couple. Uh, roll another d4. Ooh. Oh, you were lucky. She has four healing potions. <laughs> okay. Hey, Minzy, much... what are you doing tonight? She's so oh, my aunt. How many? How many? There. <laughs> how much? She slaps <laughs> you with um with her tail, and she oh. says, "I'll give it to you for a ten percent discount." After uh, these are the rest of everything that I have, though. So if you need more, I'm going to need to be able to stop and, and go into my laboratory and make them. How much are they? Uh, 10% off of a healing potion is. 40, that would is be 45. 40, 40, 40, 45. 40, 45. It's 50. Um, so that's 45. Yeah. Just so four of them. I can buy one. Eighty for all of them. I can buy one. But she looks at she gives Marble a wink and says, Of course she gets an extra ten percent off. Thanks, Auntie. Mm. Um ten percent uh, of fifty or ten percent of forty five. <laughs> You know, Wilkes, I had no idea that you were so mathematically yeah. inclined. I feel like you were struggling you to count money? like yesterday. <laughs> now, you know, like, <laughs> that was what happened, Wilkes? What happened to my, I like, um, you were like having a hard time with understanding just, money. So Marble will get it. questions for me? <laughs> 40. 40? Okay, I'll okay. take, I'll take two. Okay, I'm going to buy all of them. <laughs> I mean, There's only two left. We've already bought two of them. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll buy. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy one. Buy. Yeah, pay for all of them. I, bought I can one. pay for all of them. Yeah. yeah I, I think that's what the okay. ringleader meant. Oh, okay. Was. That's no, I, I, I can. Gonna... I can. I can pay for all of them. Like, oh, okay. I okay. have the money to cover all, cover that's, the whole. That's where the circus fund goes. No, the circus yeah, fund can, does not go into my pockets. Oh, it's just. That's what you say. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, boss man. So, a healing potion? But sleight of hand to give them all to um, Marble. And, so, I give all the gold to Marble and let Marble play. Three, six, five. Make a healing potion. She says, but I want you all to promise me that you're going to take very good care of Marble. I promise. She's a very important part of this team. And she I cannot regrow her team. limbs, so it's <laughs> what? Well, simply irreplaceable. Very much. There's only so. one person here who can regrow their limbs, and that's the ringleader. And Walks. And Wish, no. technically, too. We Did haven't you tested see her yet. You saw Wish? She like lost an arm. Not a to, the, to the rust to the rust I can't regrow back. my limbs. I have gelatinous pseudopods from which I have to create by uh, exciting the endoplasmic reticulum of my nucleus. Oh, that's such nonsense. <laughs> oh, I am. Um... <laughs> wow, well, you. Sue, you, you know a lot about biology there. <laughs> Since when are you such an expert in biology? How do you know it's nonsense? <laughs> you, know it's nonsense? <laughs> you don't know how slimes work. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that Wolves was a huge <laughs> science geek. Um, like you, um, could, you had like you could have was struggling with uh, gold last time. Now you're doing percentages and biology. I'm are sorry. You, I'm sorry. That sure? wasn't right. that wasn't Wolks. That was me. That was Lace. Lace. You have a really good Wolks impression. Yeah. Um, yeah. You should you should work out. You should perform that more often. That was no. really good. That was really good. Like really you had you had me convinced. I'm so I'm, broken. I'm, 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 I'm... <laughs> my, my brain is not functioning. Uh, I'm sorry, but the computer says no. I can't do that anymore. Okay. It was a one-time thing. Uh, so 
uh, all of a sudden, Wolks, having heard this strange gobbledygook coming out of the, it's just like rolling on the ground, going, oh, I can't, I'm broken. I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> It's all very strange. <laughs> um, all right, so we sorted that. Um, and, and is that where we're going to leave it? Yeah. Look, I, I say we do that. No doubt that we have the healing potions. And that's in the... I think we should tell Volks more things about the endoplasmic reticulum. <laughs> But I'm very concerned about how he's broken. Yeah. Which part of you is broken? <laughs> Those are brain. Back. <laughs> My brain back. pods. My brain meat. Your brain meat is broken. How oh, does no. that break? He's turned into a breakable. He's turned into a house cat on catnip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm really sorry, Volks. I've killed your Can't character. Stuff. Without meaning to <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Well, and on that amazing ending, um, I think we're going <laughs> to call it a night. So until next week, at the same time we start it, it is goodbye from me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Goodbye, goodbye party. Bye, party. Hey, we did the bit. <laughs>